my pledge is the compass of my journey what's up guys welcome welcome we've got the uh, new season starting today new season bosses chief challenges 30 days into season three so we're gonna go over and fight these bosses and see if they're exactly like they were on the test server i hope they are we've got all the teams ready on my live account over here we have all these heroes leveled up we don't have like the best gear but we've got gear i think we have gear well enough to be able to get anything done that we got done on the test server server for sure and then we've got tons of stamina to go spend in the dungeons. With the increased drop rate that we get today, we've got tons of stamina right here to spend on it. So it's going to be great. What's going on, man? Five minutes. Can't wait. Yeah, me too. I'm very excited. Guys, if you're not playing Dragon Air, Sonic Gods, look down below. Download the game from the links there. If you're on YouTube, you'll see the links down there as well. You can always download it from Steam and you can download it on any of your mobile devices. Play on your mobile devices. Play on the go. Squizzly, what is up, my man? How you doing today? Raz, welcome, welcome. You ready for you ready for five minutes from now? Me too. Let's see if we have anything else we needed to do. I don't think so. And we're gonna have reset, so that means we're gonna get a lot of essence solvent. <laughs> we're gonna get essence too to level up our artifacts, but we're gonna get a lot of solvent. And I'm just shy of doing my, you know, most outer one, like the strongest one. I'll be able to do it today for sure at reset, but I don't think I'm that high on this training. Let's see. Where is I'm only ranked 100. Okay. Right. I'm ranked 116th and I haven't been using any of my bread. I think that's pretty damn good. I mean, the rewards from 100 to 300, I think are the same. Yeah. 101 to 300 are the same rewards. 41 to 100. You get a little bit more, but we're not going to stress that we're saving our bread. I mean, we could do some runs right now and maybe drop below 100. I doubt it. What do we have? We've got four minutes to do a few runs in the Goblin Cave. It's not going to make a difference. Yo, what's up? We don't have enough time. I've got 99 stamina and I'm sure this won't make a difference. Blood Sample, how you doing? Good, Brotato Chip. Me too, man. I'm having a great day. I'm actually really excited about this. You know, we've been playing for a full month. You saw, if you saw my video last night that I put out on YouTube, I talk about what I do for that month and there's just really not a lot going on, right? I hope they spice it up. They're supposed to spice it up. I don't know about next season. I'm hoping next season they have plenty of time for it, but they've talked about things that they're going to do. They even talked about it in the newsletter they put out for us, right? Like the first month or the last month, like the, the end of the last month they even talked about. So we'll see. Hey man, OP Gamer, what's going on? Squizzly, I know it goes fast, doesn't it? I can believe it's been a month. I feel like I just, well, because I play other games. I log into this game and I play it for this first month very, like, quickly. I'll go in, I'll do my stamina that I get for free. I'll buy a few more stamina. I'll do the, uh, the events are nice. Like, whenever I see an event, I'm really excited for that. So I think we need more of these. Oh, is this brand new? Whoa, two days left. I forgot about this event. I could have had my ink. Am I on the real server? I could have had my increased damage already today. Let's go over to arena. I could have had that 3000 extra and yesterday had a 28% additional attack or 15, something like that. Hey man, thanks so much for the prime sub. Appreciate the love. What's the first element we need to use for the world bosses? All the world bosses will be available. All six. Now there's four of the easiest elements, which are the ones I have on my YouTube videos. Hold on. I need to pull them up too, because we need to see if they're the same. Like we're, we're really worried that the test server. Oh, wow. Has there been echo the whole time? Okay. I turned that off. We're really worried that the test server has different bosses, or even if it's the same bosses, we're, we're worried that they're going to have more defense. Like they're not going to take as much damage. So there's the Radiant boss, the Ice boss, the Necrosis boss, and the Poison boss. And when I say Poison, Necrosis, Radiant, that's what they are. That's their damage type. Not that Radiant's going to do more damage versus them. I kind of wish they'd change that too. Like, don't name a boss Radiance just because the boss is Radiance, but then it takes damage from Poison. Name the boss the Poison boss. That way, we know it takes damage from Poison. I think that'd be easier, wouldn't it? Don't name it Radiant Ice Poison at all. Give it a name. 
Like, this is the George boss. Hi, George. Now we're going to fight the, the George boss takes additional damage from Radiance. Then we'll just call it the Radiance boss. You know, or we'll call it George and the Radiance boss or something like that. I'm asking too much. I think it's, I think it makes more sense, you know? Protect, and I know, big time, Rifter. It's been crazy the last few days. Believe me, I just woke up, and I'm going to be taking care of that once we get off the stream. I got to get in here and, like, ban Discord.gg. I got to do something with, like, repetitive, um... I'm going to look. I'm going to do research for whatever. No, I really, I, I got to look, man. This has been stupid. The last five days, it's been insane. I go to bed, and I wake up, and there are just so many posts for dumb stuff. Usually it's porn. Yeah. It's 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 crazy. It's gonna be driving people out of our Discord for sure. I gotta I gotta do something about it. It's it's insane. So I'm hoping they labeled the boss differently, and I'm hoping that not only did they label them differently, you know, it would be nice. Hold on, I can't reach my pro is this telling me I can't fight in PvP right now? Oh, we just had reset. Let's go. Today's the day. Now's the time. It, like 100%. Yeah, I don't know why Discord. Like, wouldn't Discord see that that's a spam and just immediately nix it? But I guess there's some settings I need to go. Not only settings, I'm going to go further and look on YouTube, look on, um, tw look on, uh, you know, just Google it and find out the best ways to prevent any kind of spam like that. I'm going to lock it down hard, man. I'm going to lock it down extra hard. Okay, we don't need to do our those kind of missions yet. We could go around and get up all of our solvent. I don't think it's going to be enough solvent to get me 40,000 to the next tier. Let's grab our rewards over here for our hard training. It's it's crazy, man. Really. So we do have a dungeon one for Grave of Venom. Grave of Venom. Whoa, look at this. Look at this event. It's going to give us mythic pieces random. Okay, a fair amount of 60 breads, which is pretty good. I do remember one time we used to run this and we got two of the larger ones. But I think I think maybe we got two large ones, one small one, or I don't know. Maybe it's going to equal out. We get a lot of solvent. Not a lot of creation, but still pretty good. Damn, 7,000 is pretty nice. And then 10,000. Okay, I am going to be able to get two tiers into the newest damage rank. I'm pretty sure. Radiance attack and fire attack by 13%. I'll take it. Yeah, we'll be able to get another 40,000. Let's go. Finally, time to farm dungeons. Yes, sir. Let's see if I missed anything. Let's go over to Arena. We'll collect some more solvent there. Go over to our Vortex. We'll collect some solvent in that one as well. Then we've got the weekly challenges, which are cake. Probably not going to collect very much here. What's the fire element we need for the world boss? I don't know. We're about to find out. We're about to find out everything. Why is it doing this for me? Did I not rank it at all to get any kind of rewards? I didn't do any 3v3, that's for sure. So, damn, I didn't even do the three necessary to get 2,000. I was really slacking on that. I completely forgot about Arena. New Battle Pass. Oh, we got to do some summons today, too. That's right. We don't have to, but I definitely want to do some summons. I just want to get rid of my dice and see if I get lucky with something. We'll get one legendary, right? Okay, let's go to Vortex really quick just to collect. And then we'll go look at the bosses. And then we'll look at some summons. You got Sutha last week, hoping you can finally run her in the Dauntless team. You can. You can run her in the Dauntless team. You can run two melee up front on the Dauntless team and just have one ranged in the back. Two melee makes it two melee will make it so the boss doesn't do its ultimate. If you do three melee up there, the boss is gonna ultimate your melee. Which you probably don't want. 
Boss takes 30% more poison damage each time an ally receives healing. One of their debuffs dispelled. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Although I've got the debuff covered. Ah, oh, we collected so early we didn't get to see what rank we were. It's settling right now. Alright, we'll find out later. Okay, on to the bosses. Let's see what we've got. See if they're named the same. <laughs> it looks like they're gonna be. It looks like they're gonna be. Yo, who's this? Leg Serpska? Serpska, is that how I say that name? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Twin, good to see you back, my friend. Yeah, the ranking. You, you always got to do it at 930 to actually see your ranking. You got to give it time to tally it up. Okay, so this boss takes damage from lightning, and he's called just the poison boss. Oh, I think it's I think it's it's so simple to name this boss lightning, right? Just because he takes damage from lightning, and you're done with it. You know exactly what's up. But it looks like these bosses are going to be the same. So this guy's got abilities that... I don't see it being any different. But are we going to get the same? Are we going to are we gonna clock in the same amount of damage we did, though? Jacob, good to see you, my man. You have Shaltar, Sutha, Avelius. Great. Yeah, yeah. Well, just watch my video on YouTube. Go over to YouTube and watch the boss. Look at the boss that has the name for Poison. If you, if you click that link right there, and we go over here to the boss that says... Go to videos, and I'm looking at new boss, ice, necrosis, and poison. And we'll have it set. Where is... There it is. Yeah, right here. So this is the poison boss. So I'm going to click on this poison one, and then it's going to show us what formation I'm using here. With support, and then... You know, you can see my team here. Who do we have back here? Estella and... Oh, I didn't level up that kind of support. I might need to level up some, level up some extra support for sure. If I'm going to fight that boss. We only have to fight three bosses this week. Four bosses the next week. Five the week after. And then six the final week. So right now, we just need three. Three good teams for the easiest boss. And this boss is pretty easy. Especially with the team you're talking about. But I'll probably fight... The definitely the radiant boss is going to be the easiest, and we've got that locked down. Let's go see if it's the same kind of damage on that radiant boss. We don't have to worry about formation at all. We can go in there and use fur bath. Then we've got the ice boss, which takes damage from necrosis, and we have the necrosis boss, which takes damage from fire. So let's go do the fire one and the ice one first. Those should be the two easiest to knock out and see if the damage is pretty, pretty comparable to what we were. Well, it's not going to be the same because remember that damage I was running with 60 million is with mythical gear. Pretty good gear, but my elemental advantage, like my psyche core right now, is further out on some of those. And if I'm getting 60 million with that fancy gear, then I should easily make 22 million, right? Okay, the cold boss is not the one. Which, which one do we need? See how confusing this is? Like, I've got to go find the boss. I'm looking for the radiance boss. Okay. Does it say underneath it? Oh, uh, it does. It says, it says fire damage here. So this, this part is pretty good then. All right. So it's nice. Like at a glance with that part, it just says that it takes damage from this. So that's a pretty good, and, and we don't even have to worry about this radiance part. Should we go farm some gear first? You guys think we should farm gear at all? This is my pillar team. This isn't the team I'm going to bring in. All right, let's look and see what we have for... What are they called? Ice Blast. Okay, this one I didn't... I only used one healer. All I used was Fur Bath in here. Nobody moves at all. Like, nobody moves forward, even though it looks like there's a spot here. 
And then now I just need another... She's going to do Witch's Remains, so I just need another DPS, like anything. It'd be cool to have Nord in this team, then we'd really blow it away. But he's not leveled up. The hunt is on. Okay. If he pulls out Gwynevar, she's going to be over here in the side, I guess. And still, everybody's going to be healed. Venom is the dungeon for the event. Yeah, yeah. Might as well run it, right? We do have some stamina. We do need some, we could use some new gear. And plus, we're going to get that mythical gear from just running a few runs. It's pretty nice. I haven't even messed with this team in so long. Ah, I've got Mithrasy in here. That's why. Do we have to summon for any of the ore? What's going on? If you hit max with everything, what do you mean? Do we have to summon for any of the ore? Oh, if you hit max with everything, do you have to summon? Yes. If you hit max with all the events, you're only going to get 90 plus 90 from the free dungeons. That's 180 and we need 240, correct? Let me do one run real quick here. I don't think I need all this support now. I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. But I really don't think I need all this support now. We need to move. We need to remove Mithrasy or Adolphus and bring in one more DPS to make this fast. This is just how I tried to beat it. This is how I beat it for sure, you know, weeks and weeks ago. But now, with my elemental advantage out there, our better gear too, the elemental advantage is just going to give us really more damage. It's not going to give us much more protection for our tank. All right, we'll beat this one time, and then we'll go check out the rewards and we'll see 200 for we need we only need 200 for her oh that's it okay so we get 180 for free if we get 22 million on every single boss each week right we do three bosses this week if we get 22 million on each boss 22 million 22 million that's 90 plus 90 is 180 so we're missing 20 and we make up 20 from where top 20 on the leaderboards to do that though because each week we're going to get a few extra but it's so few like depending on your your accumulative damage for all the bosses on the leaderboard each week for four weeks you will get additional ore for the event but is it going to be 20 i don't think so because there's so few like even number one gets like what four i still think you're going to need to do some summons Let's check it. We'll, we'll look at it right after this. I should be able to remove both of these supports. Bring in Garius with the staff, maybe? Even though he's got the staff on. And then bring in another DPS pretty easily. <clears throat> all right, so we get 90 here. We get 90 there if we get all 22 million. And then if we summon, we get 60. And that's it. And then we have the weekly leaderboards, which number first place gives you 10. Man, it gives you a lot of solvent. Oh, it gives you boxes over here too. Check that out. That's pretty crazy. What are these? Random mythic equipment chest. Okay, that's still cool. That's a crap ton of solvent. I guess if, if you're top 100, you get four, four, four. You would only be too shy then, right? No, that'd be, you'd be four shy, right? So you need to be top 40 every week. To make up that missing 20. Do you think you're going to be top 40 overall every week? That's, that's pretty hard to get, I would think. Maybe though. I already saved the results. What do you mean? 
Some already saved the results. Oh, some people here? Yeah, they did. Not many. Not many, just a few players here. So what do you think? Yeah, they've got a week to save results, right? They don't need to save right now. You save on Friday of next, no, you save like six days from now when you know you've got better gear, your elemental advantage is out further and you're gonna do more damage. But right now, I don't know. Like I said, you gotta at least get top 40. To, to make up that 20, we got four weeks, that's five each, that's 20. You could at least get some of these, even if you made top 50, it would give you four more, so you'd be 16 shy, but still 16 shy is 20 summons. I mean, it looks like no matter what, mostly 27s, you might have to do only five summons if you can score high enough. Just depends on your account, what you can do. Can you pull it from the banner? No, you can't pull it from the banner. Yeah, I'm surprised too, right? They shouldn't have saved it. Maybe they made a mistake. I've done that before. Seriously, I've gone in there. I fought. I meant to back out and I hit the save for some reason. Like I was just clicking, clicking. Maybe it was a lag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was lag for sure. And then it saved my results. I'm going to blame it on that. Hold on one minute, man. I cannot. I cannot yell in the morning and talk. But you can't, OP Gamer, you can't pull it from the banner. We've never been able to pull any of these heroes from the banner. You got a mythic already from your first run? Hacks. <laughs> Straight up hacks. We got an alliance duel happening right now. Preparation phase. Okay. And then we've got this event. What does it give us? Some clocks? All right, let's grab these clocks. That way we'll get additional rewards. Or we won't get it. We'll be able to do the double runs, right? So grab those clocks and make it faster. What kind of team do you guys have right here? Anybody have like a low budget team they're using? I don't want to re re gear and put out pull out Sigrid and Varesh when I've already got a team that can just cheese it out. I don't feel like really re gearing anybody right now, but I'm sure. Like this team right here, or just Sigrid and Varesh together with whatever else. I'm hoping you guys can be able to do this. If you can't, that'd be pretty messed up. You got the slingshot on Sig, right? Slingshot it up. You got Varesh with the Witch's Remains or the Crown. And then whatever support you can bring in. Hopefully Garius, somebody really good at tanking. Along with some healing, Furbath together with him maybe. I mean, all it is is about keeping your tank alive, right? Getting decreased attack up with Sigrid, as long as you can get that up eventually. Debuffs up with Varesh. That way the Wisps won't counterattack as much. And if you have two debuffs up on the boss, when it does its ultimate, it won't go fly and hit somebody else. But right now I'm just going to cheese it out because I don't have to re-gear. Oh, she's got Witch's Remains on. Interesting. That'll work. Okay, what happens if we do bring somebody else in, though? A good opportunity to oh, she's almost got gear on, too. Okay. I know I have a better gear set than this. I really need to go back through my... I know I have a full piece, but we'll take this for now. Let's see what happens. But we don't have any debuffs, right? All we have is decreased attack sometimes on the boss, so the boss will fly out and attack somebody else. Like that. <laughs> Fly out like that. We only had one debuff up, but it was decreased attack, so we actually survived. This is my domain. Yeah, we're going to have to jump. We're going to not jump on the test server, but once I have gear, I definitely want to, you know, save that gear and then try out some lesser teams, some rare teams on this boss. But really what we should be trying out is 
rare teams on this boss with epic gear. We need to do it on the test server. This is my domain. Because you can't get legendary gear unless you've got epic gear first, right? So you got to come in here initially with epic gear on those rare heroes like Sigrid. Bring in a Furbath or a Garius. And then at least be able to beat seven right now to get legendary gear. You're using Furbath, Varesh, Sigrid, Bledin, and Vikuk? Okay, nice. So you're getting heals. Let's see. With just heals from Furbath, a little bit from Varesh, and Vikuk, you're able to stay alive. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, really, that's pretty good. Sometimes this bird goes crazy and does a lot of damage, right? As long as the orbs are out of the way, you're good, but it takes a little while to get those down. Let's grab some clocks. Wait, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Give me some... Yeah, give me some clocks. There we go. We have 45? I didn't realize we had so many. Nice. So what is that? How many runs? Will it tell us our max runs? This is 15 stamina each. 20 is 300 stamina. So this would be 600 stamina we need for this. I don't know. Did we do 23 runs? Is it going to let us do that max amount? That's a lot of runs, fellas. You're waiting, you're waiting till the last day before I pull my score. Yeah, yeah, you should. Yes. Nathan, there's no reason to save your score right now. Like, none at all. See, right then, Ardrith would have died. Right? Ardrith would have been toast. I guess we need to get some teams out. I don't know if people are really struggling on this. All I know is if you have Sigurd with a slingshot and she's able to get off her attack, yeah, she's going to put up decreased attack. If you have Varesh with Witch's Remains, sure, he's going to get up some debuffs if you can survive to that point. The problem is surviving to the ultimate on this, on this fight. Like Once you get past that initial 20 second phase, there's a lot of support you could have in here to keep your people alive and just slow play it. But you got to get past that first initial 20 seconds. And that's like the hardest thing to do. You doing what right now? Time to hit some harpies? Yeah, man, get those harpies going. You just pulled two mythic people's pieces from a double run? Damn. I don't think it's going to be that hard. Like, people were talking about how hard it's going to be to get mythic pieces. Of course, it's RNG. You're getting lucky right now. I could have bad RNG and not see mythic for a while. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get some Mythic. And if they were really smart about it, they would have given us a pity system for how many runs we do. Like, say we don't get a Mythic. Say we get a Mythic guaranteed every 10 runs if a Mythic didn't appear, right? That would, that would be smart. Instead of letting it rely purely on a low RNG where people could have very bad luck, I think it's nice that you have some kind of built-in pity system. I don't know if they do. Do you see a mythic here? I don't know if they do. I'm just saying that that would be the smartest thing to do. That way we wouldn't have some salty players out there. And it's not like you're giving out mythics. You're just making it reasonable. Three runs, two times tickets, and you've gotten a mythic run each run? Blood sample. What? what, what? You've gotten... So out of six runs, you've gotten three mythics. Basically what it comes down to. I got four mythics before today. One is 35%. The, the additional, 
The additional damage, 35% damage gloves. Nice. I don't know if we've gotten any new mythic yet. I'll know because I think I have two mythic chest pieces for sure, the healing ones, and then I've got one glove. But two of those mythics are because they give they gave us two random ones. Remember too, from running this, we're gonna get a couple of random mythics from the event. You just pulled two mythics from one double run. Man, I don't know. You guys are really killing it. <laughs> you guys are seriously killing it. Yeah, once those orbs are down, we've got easy, easy times. Well, plus we have decreased attack up all the time with Sonaro, so... Once Sonaro is able to hit the Harpy and keep that up 100%, it's very, very easy. You've only gotten one from the next three runs? Yeah, I don't think I've gotten a lot. I don't think we've gotten any so far that I've seen on my runs. What kind of run times are you guys getting? I'm curious who's getting like fast run times. At this point, I want to make a speed team now with my legendaries. Oh, there, there's two. There's two. A minute and 29 seconds. That's not bad, but there's two of them right there. Two mythics. <laughs> We're doing quite a few runs. So at the end, we'll be able to, you know, scroll through and see how many we got. Yo, Meteor Storm, what's up, my man? I'm doing great, man. Good morning, good morning. I know for you, it's got to be late. Sorry, I haven't done our PVT, P, PvP team. We're supposed to do our red-blue team. Uh, Meteor has it already queued up on his defense, so I need to go into the test server and make the offense. Yeah, I need to try that. We need to do that, right, so we can get videos out on it and see if we fail again or not, right? See if the test server's messed up or not. I don't know. Yeah, but we're going to have closer to normal, you know, I mean, we'll get as close as we can with the stats is basically what we're doing. We're trying to get as close as we can. I was supposed to transition to season three. Today's your season three day. Are you able to summon on the season three banner? They pro postponed it another week. Did they tell you with an in-game message saying, hey, uh, your server won't go to season three for another week and it gave you a date. Chaos, what's up, my man? You're still on season one with 11 days left. Man. I hate that. I hate that you're on a different event than, than I am, than a lot of other people are. I hope that, I, I hate that other people are doing something else in season two, season one and stuff. I want us all to be able to enjoy the same thing at the same time. I want to make videos on how to beat this boss with low budget teams but there's really not a lot of people who even care because how many people are on season three right now you know i would love it if we could just all be on the same banners even to talk about the new banners that are coming up and what's good to summon on all all of that i don't know maybe maybe they'll uh maybe they'll get their stuff together yeah, you don't need to be on my server, of course. You don't want to be on my server because I've been playing longer than you have. There's another mythic. But you could be on your own server with your own people and be playing the same content we're playing. Yeah. 90 dice for now. For season 2, 90 dice for that banner. Okay. I hope you get lucky with at least one. I hope you get either Rook or Azul. It'd be nice if you got Rook, let's be honest. He's so broken. But if you got Azul, that'd be fun too. I don't wish that you get this girl. I mean, she's cool, but I think Rook and Azul are better than Amon. She's been fun to play with, this Aura Legendary exclusive, but I don't think she's nowhere near as strong as Azul and nowhere, nowhere even near as strong as Rook. But nobody is. Oh, you're going to get all the brand new packs. Yeah, the double deal packs that reset. So if you get, it's like two hundred dollars worth. You should you should have a good amount. I mean that's exactly what I did, and I think I had one eighty or so, 
And then we got some more from the uh, content creator program stuff. But even with all my 300 and something summons, I got one exclusive. But I did get a lot of the other good legendaries like Sonarl that I wanted. Really, that's what you need. You need to get Sonarl. So I hope you get Rook and I hope you get Sonarl. As far as anybody else, it um, doesn't really matter at that point. Because you can pick up an Epic. You can pick up uh, Dargo as an Epic for to go with Rook. It would be cool if you got Whisk with Rook. But as long as you get Rook and Sonarl, you're set. And it would be cool to get uh, Finya, the Frost Undead Healing Lady. Double drops would include Goblin and Crystals. That would be crazy. If it did it for Double Drops and Goblin, like increased our experience drop. But that would make kind of sense, wouldn't it? That'd be a wild... That'd be, that'd be nice. Then we really wouldn't do anything for 30 days. Then I'd be like, man, I could wait to farm Goblin. Well, you got to spend the energy. I'd be like, man, I could wait to farm Goblin. But you can't. You have your daily energy you're still going to use. You pulled Flora and Sonarl. Yeah, yeah, Flora's great. You're right. Flora is still extremely strong. Flora and Dauntless are both extremely strong. And I think Flora will stay strong. So if you're lucky enough to get her, you're right. They're, they're doing, the Flora teams are doing really well. 15 minutes for reset. Did you get the artifact? What are you saying? You, you, you for, Oh, you thought you were going to miss the chance to collect it. You should have collected it right away. I'm sure it would send it to your mailbox if you didn't collect it. I'm positive. You got gloves? Congrats, congrats. Are they the good ones? Crit rate with critical damage and a, and two hits into attack. That's actually really nice. So you got 40% crit rate, 16 critical damage, and 19 attack. I would like those. Yeah, a lot of people had a, had a hard time beating 59. And then some of them had a hard time beating 60 on the Radiant one because it was healing. I mean, it does that every season. It was healing the side guys, and they were having a pretty big issue with it. But you're talking about the shadow, the fire one, right? I think a lot of people were having issues with the 59, that, or they were having issues with the lightning one. I think the lightning 59 was pretty tough. I'm not sure if it was Tamar back there or somebody like that wrapping people up. Yeah, those are really nice gloves. Congrats. Necropillar, nice. Yeah, I didn't... Well, I mean, I've got a big roster too, so I didn't really have a... We, we did have a little bit of a struggle on one of those 59s, but once we got some backline jumpers, we just jumped to the back with um, Shagul and Karamon and destroyed them. Then it was really easy. It's the lightning poison. Yeah, that's the one that I think I had an issue with too. And then we did backline jumpers and we destroyed it. Once I had Karaman and Shurgul jumping back there right away and blowing them up, it was easy. Who's messaging me? Oh, do you guys know we got a new season of Discovery coming out? I don't know why. I kind of I kind of stopped enjoying Discovery. Star Trek Discovery was cool in the beginning, but I guess if this, if this is the last season, I'll finish it out. And Casper with 10 gold dice just now? Blood Samper? Blood Sample just pulled the Lindor, which is an exclusive Radiant Hero. And then also Casper. I would like to get some more wild heroes myself. Of course, it'd be great to get Flora, but even if I didn't get Flora, I would like to see Felicity. I would like to see Casper. I don't have any of the legendary wilds. All I have is Erich. It'd be nice to have a few more to go with Total Nan and Erich. Oh, no, no, I do. I have uh, Rash, which I'm not a big fan of Rash, honestly. 
I mean, the guy's not terrible, but he's not as cool as somebody like Casper could be. Or Felicity. Felicity would be really nice. Maybe I'll get her for my purple dice. That's right. We've got the purple dice summons coming up in 11 days. I think we have all those events starting on April the 30th. How many more runs do we have? We're only 6 of 23? God. It's going to be a minute. You have zero le poison legendaries? I don't have any good poison legendaries either. I've got Durango. I don't have Jethalia. Bacana. Or Lothair, of course. I would love to pull Lothair. I would love to pull a really good exclusive, is what it comes down to. Because right now, I've got Amon. And I have Lilawanis. <laughs> I would love to trade my Lilawanis for anything else. I don't really want the Lindor, although he could be a, he can be a massive nuker. I would prefer to have... Well, I don't know. He would go good because I have a lot of rally. I have Lorenthal. Actually, I would take him because I have Lorenthal. I have um, Alton. I have Hubbard. I've got a really good team of rally. But I don't feel like I need that exclusive. I feel like I might almost would rather have Filto. And then take Lothair, Flora, Nesjinka. I think those are, you know, Lothair, Flora, Nesjinka would be three amazing ones. Who else is left out there to get? Oh, I don't even care about the ice one. Hivatar, I don't even care about the ice one, honestly. You still can't use him? He needs a setup? Yeah, yeah, but it's you just take corn. You just put up put up poisons with corn. Corn will keep the poisons up because he has a really low cooldown and just give him a whole bunch of skill haste. And then as long as there's a bunch of poisons up when Lothair does his ultimate, it's like GG, you know? Stupid damage. I don't even think you have to do much for it, to be honest. Filto, Alton, uh, the the Lindor, and Lorenthel. Nice. Yeah, you're pretty set with Rally. Elsabri. Yeah, she would be fun to have too. She's pretty powerful, but I don't... Since I have Mithrasi and I've got our girl here, and I've got Sonaro, going through all of Faye isn't an issue. I could kind of slow tank through Faye, and I've never had a problem with it now. Really easy. But Elsabri is quite a... She's quite a menace. Like she's the only thing that's hard when we go up and face when we face her in Fey. She's like the only thing that makes it difficult. Because that charm is five seconds along with knocking back our ultimate gauge by 50%. It really hurts. But I don't I don't you know, back in the day I wanted to pull her, but I don't even care about pulling her now. You're curious that they release it early on the test server? I don't know. Could be like three days early, but if so, we would see it on the test server. Like it would say, hey, there's an event going on. Or this is new to the game. Like we would know it's there. But I don't think, they don't update the test server like that. They don't go, like they would need to update the test server. They need to patch it just like they do the live server. And it doesn't seem like they do that with the test server. Now, it might be something they could do with a live update, but I don't think so. Yeah, she's strong. She's definitely strong, but I don't need her anymore. So I I think the only ones I want are Lothair, Nesjinka, Nesjinka, and Flora. And then you can give me Rook or Azul too. I'll take those. I guess I guess out of season two, I don't have Bell Dell. I would take Bell Dell. Who else out of season two? Yeah, and I don't I don't need the other season two ones. I don't need Burn and I don't need Electrocute. My luck, I'll probably get my Lilawanis that I have, my Oman I have, and then I'll pull Perk. The exclusive Thunderbolt one. It's probably what my luck will be. With Rally? Yeah, you can do it with Rally. I saw a really good Filto. They were running Filto. Hubberg and Alton. No, no. What is it? What is it? Filto, Hubberg, and um, Lorenthal, 
right? Those three. Hubbard was doing Witch's Remains. They had Lorinthel obviously, in there to give them the boost, to give them the damage increase, to make sure they have Rally on. And then Filto in there, and it was really high damage. Like, a good... I mean, you would think that would only do really well for AoE, because it does insane AoE damage, but it was doing crazy high damage on the Vortex boss. So that would be a pretty nice team. You can't manage 22 million on the shield boss? Which boss are you fighting right now? Oh, on the big shield boss? I would save that boss till um, week three. Not this week, not next week, but the week after is when I'd save that boss. Because the other four bosses are too easy. Did I do testing on the shield boss? Yeah, yeah, we did it on a live stream. We even brought in... We even did 22 million on the shield boss with... Ice Blast Heroes. Which don't even get 100% additional damage for that boss. But since Ice Blast is so strong, we were able to get over 22 million. Pretty easy. I can't remember. What's that boss take, a, take damage from? Like, what's the element? To pair with Flora? Uh, I don't know. I've never played Flora before. She might be if she can wild proc enough with that percentage chance. Isn't it like a 15% chance for her to like... Attack, 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 attack? Or it's higher for her, right? It's higher than 50%, isn't it? If she could do those multiple attacks, then it'd be better. When is the event for the Starlight Summons? That's going to be on the 30th. April the 30th, so stay save all your Starlight Dice. It takes additional damage from Radiance. That's right. And we were using Rare and Epic Radiant guys. But they were having their Rally stripped all the time. Well, we were using Rally people, right? We were using like the strongest Rare and Epic Rally... And they were having their rally stripped from that boss, the shield boss, quite often. So they couldn't reach their, you know, full potential. They just don't have rally. Which really sucks because they're not even giving rally to each other that often because they're, they're the rare and epics. So then we brought in the new team like this, the new aura team. And they did well against that boss as far as damage goes. And then again, we brought in the ice blast to see how well they would do. And they did really well. But really, if you don't have Legendary Rally, and if you don't have a decent amount of these new heroes, I think it's pretty hard to do well on that boss. For dungeons? For Aura with two Legendaries. What two Legendaries? Like, what other Aura units do you have? Because, really, the, the other... <laughs> The other two aura legendaries are not great. The one's okay because she gives you 20% additional damage for all your aura people. But she's only just like, okay. Linkos, that guy's terrible. Yeah, Linkos really isn't great. And you have the exclusive, you have Amon, like I'm using her right now. Yeah, she's cool. So as long as you have her and you play those other two... Those other two... You could... Depends on if you have enough support for your dungeons to keep everybody alive. But I haven't seen anybody, even myself, when I test Linkos, to where he's viable to use. He he has been absolutely terrible. Garius and Ardrith. Yeah, Ardrith with his staff and Garius for... I mean, for some dungeons, okay, but you can't really run that team going through Ancient Battlefield. You could run that team in Heretical Runes, I guess. You don't have a Dispeller still for Heretical Runes. If you need to Dispel the Burn. You've got the AoE damage, but you don't have anybody to Dispel. And then you don't have anybody for AoE... Witch's Remains, if you're going to use Witch's Remains to try to get that up on everyone. And I don't think that team's going to run well here. Because you've got no debuffs. You've got no Decrease Attack. I don't think Garius will last long enough for you to be able to get your moves up, will he? Like that first 10 seconds? After that, it's good if you can get up your, your ultimate. 
Yeah, Rose would work out well, right? Because you get decreased attack, irresistible, get some heals, removal of debuffs. Yeah. So probably two DPS, right? Then you want to bring in your exclusive along with whichever hero is going to work well. <laughs> and to be honest with you, none of those heroes have multi-hit ultimates. Aura kind of sucks because nobody has an ultimate ultimate. The only one that can, this that uh, Narzilla girl, the one with the bow, that's Aura. She'll do one shot to try to do Witch's Remains. And then whenever another Aura hero attacks, she'll fire off two more shots, which can, which can also proc Witch's Remains. But if you're only running two DPS, if you're only running her plus Amon here, you don't want Amon to attack and then it be applied. You want, it to, you want Witch's Remains up when Amon does her ultimate. I don't know. It's just bad design. They made these aura units, but there's nobody in there that has like even a three hit ultimate for Witch's Remains or the crown. There's nobody in aura. It's, it's dumb. Every other group of damage dealers, you know, like Shadow and the rest, they have multi hitters in epics and legendaries. Five hits. A lot of them have like five hits. Aura has none of that. And Aura really isn't that great this season. I don't think Aura is going to be great any season, to be honest. Doing damage based off of enemy max HP is not where it's at in this game. It doesn't help us a lot when we go up against the Vortex. It doesn't help us a lot against those little mini bosses. Ice Blast blows away the kind of damage that these Aura people do. If Aura shines for the last eight days, when we fight an in-game, you know, the end boss... For the end of the season, if they shine then, whoop de do. <laughs> Yay, I got an exclusive that's gonna be decent on the end game boss. Cause I guarantee you, Rook's gonna destroy the end game boss. Azul's gonna destroy with AoE, cause they have a lot of AoE. Azul's gonna destroy the end game boss, and Amon and crew for Aura are still not gonna be top tier. Yo, yo, what's going on, Midnight? How you doing, my man? Yeah, yeah, we're spinning that bread right now. We're doing 26 auto runs, and we've gotten quite a few mythics. We're going to see how many we get from total of 52 runs. It's a pretty good amount of runs. Then we can go over and collect the event reward, which will give us like two more random. I think it was two random or one random mythic. No, there is no way to keep Blaze up 100% of the time. That's the issue. Like, there are some units that give you aura when you're out of Blaze, but once you're in Blaze state, you can't get aura. And that's one of the big problems. So, even though that these aura guys are pretty good when they're in Blaze state, when they have the glowing thing on their hands right now, you can see they're both in Blaze state because their hands are glowing. But when they're outside of Blaze state, they do terrible damage. Like, this exclusive, when she's outside of Blaze State, does 500% attack damage on her ultimate. That's it. That's it. There's, there's like, like, commons do 500% ultimate damage. Commons. So she's not in Blaze State, and she'll drop out of Blaze State for a while. And it takes such a long time to get back into Blaze State. It just, I don't know. Like I said, and then on top of that, doing damage based off of enemy max HP isn't the greatest. So when you couple that together, you're looking at... I mean, that's that's why they're not anywhere near as good as, as Corrosion or Azul Shadow Teams. And... Right, and it doesn't work when they're in Blaze State. Exactly. So that would be nice if he would give you... And, and he would be viable then, right? If you could always give us aura when he's doing his ultimate, that would be pretty viable. Because you can see it. You can see it when, when you first start the game. You can see where he's giving aura energy, and it's great. But unfortunately, with his low, low, low damage, and with that little thing that he's supposed to put out on his ultimate that follows somebody and does damage, it just seems like he's doing nothing. His damage, his contribution, seems like it's a rare or less. It's so sad. And unfortunately, this company just does not go back and balance anything, right? When are they ever going to balance something? Or do anything for heroes that just are underperforming? Next season? 
Maybe next season? I don't know, man. I just... I get tired of them not balancing stuff. When we talk to them about how bad rare or heroes are and how bad the epic ones are performing... Uh, rally. Rally heroes for so long or just the corrosion debuff itself not corrosion poison damn there's too many things now just the poison debuff itself when it takes when it does damage you know when we talk to them about how bad all this stuff is and they just kind of like well whatever we'll give you new heroes soon it gets a little disappointing you know and we just want heroes to be viable we don't want them to be overpowered we just want them to be actually playable especially for people who don't have a big roster Oh, there's another one? Oh, that's not a that's not a mythic. It looks like it would be a mythic, but that's not a mythic. We're only 13 to 23 runs, boys. It's gonna be a while. You wanna see what I ordered uh two days ago? When was this? Oh yes, I ordered these yesterday. So I've been looking for some new shoes. So I ordered these yesterday. These are the Dunk Lowe's Zebra, and these came out like a while ago. So it was really hard for me to find these here in Japan that had my size. And I think because these are discontinued. And I don't have a lot of Nikes, so I've been looking at Nikes lately to see if there's any kind of brands that I like. And then I saw this YouTube channel with this Nike shop in LA, where they have all these crazy Nikes, but they cost like insane amount of money because they're all like discontinued stuff. But those are the ones I could find that I liked. I mean, there's a lot of other ones that I kind of like, but I'm just not sure. Because I can't see them in person, you know? I, I got to be able to, like, vi visually see what they look like. But those, I think, are going to be safe. I guess they didn't want to make aura exactly like Shadow. Well, it's not. It's still not, but it's sad that our legendary aura doesn't... You know, it's kind of like, uh... What's his name? Zorak. Zorak for Vortex compared to Bledin. You can kind of play either or. It's not like Zorak's going to be legendary status. Just the way that he functions, it doesn't function properly. And they need to really go back and kind of fix that. Fix how he gives other people his passive, but the damage really isn't there. For a legendary anyways. But that's, that's not even a... Like, Zorak compared to Linkos doesn't even, like, come close. Even though Zorak's not that great as a legendary, and his passive needs to be changed a little bit so that he does perform better, it's nowhere near as bad as Linkos. Like, Linkos just seems to be terrible. Their overall damage increase. Crease. Boogeyman, what's up, man? Right. If he worked when they were in Blaze State, it would be so much better. If him and then the other one that does give us that 20% increase in aura, if if they actually gave you aura while you're in Blaze State, it would be so much better. It'd be actually viable to use them then. I feel like they messed up with that. And it still wouldn't be like Shadow, because Shadow's kind of more of a, a really, you know, Shadow can't use skill haste for their ultimate. They use Shadow for it, and everybody, a lot of people in Shadow are all trying to build each other up. Trying to give each other shadow energy all the time so they can start doing their ultimate more often. And they do. They do their ultimate far more often than other damage types. Aura wouldn't be like that necessarily. I guess it'd be kind of similar. You're right. But it already is similar, but it's just gimped. You know? Aura is a little bit like shadow, but it's just very gimped. But Shadow's different. I mean, Aura just waits till we get to Aura State, and then we have the Blaze State to where we do more damage. Shadow just does does it to get their ultimates up faster. So it still would be different. I have seen some changes coming. I mean, I hope so. I don't know what changes they're doing or what's coming up for Season 4, but I hope so. I mean, we've read where they said that they're going to do some things, but I haven't actually seen them. This game will be dead by next season? Uh, yeah, but everybody says that every season, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't even think they're greedy. I don't think this, this company is greedy at all. I think that they're... I think that they actually don't have much common sense when it comes to marketing. 
as far as marketing goes. And, and that doesn't, that's not greed. That's just kind of, um, again, just not a lot of common sense. You know, when you come out with a brand new game, you really want to milk the people that play it. You, you want to grab, you know, you've always got big turnover. Any kind of gotcha game has a massive amount of turnover. So people come and play it, they leave. New peoples come, they leave. But while those people are here, you want to be able to grab as much money as you can from them. And I don't mean in a greedy way. I just mean having good offers. Good, nice offers. Cosmetics would be great. They've talked about cosmetics because that doesn't affect anybody. It's just looks. But as far as deals go, we never see good deals. There's no weekend deals that pop up. There's, there's very few seasonal deals that pop up. And honestly, the deals are terrible. And I like to spin, so I would spin. Like this game could already have thousands of more dollars from me if they had good gold dice deals. And they never do. They always have a gold dice deal along with some scrolls and something else and it's just not worth it to me. So if they ever did, and I buy the the two times like every season when it resets for that gym deal, I buy those because those, the, those are the best, right? They give us the double amount of gems. I spend $200 over there in the shop and then I buy the battle pass every month and I buy the, the small passes. So it's like $300 every season I'm spending. $300 a season, which is $100 a month. And that's pretty good to support the game, but I'm telling you right now, they could have thousands more from me every season if they had good deals. And that's all due to, I don't know, marketing? <laughs> Them not wanting to put out deals? I don't, it blows my mind. It really does because it's a difference of the company succeeding or failing. You could have gotten a lot of money from people who have been here prior. You could get a lot of money from people who are here right now. And that difference in income from their shareholders and projections and all that could make the difference of whether we really keep focusing on this game or not. I just, I don't get it. I don't get why we don't have deals. I just don't understand that. Pioneer Club? Server transfers? Oh, nice. I hope they do that, man. I hope they, I hope they talk to you guys in the Pioneer Club about server transfers. And I don't even want server transfers. I just want everybody to play on the same season together. Server transfers, they talked about quite a bit. But I don't want to have to start a new account for season four and then transfer into season four on a server like this. A server where people have been playing four seasons. I want to play season four on a brand new server with everybody else that's coming in new is on that server. Or even if they want to opt in. They can at least give me an opt-in option. That's fine too. If they say, hey, look, season four is starting. Do you want to completely go to season four? But of course, I'd be playing with other people that do the same option, right? I'm not going into season four with everybody that's been playing for four seasons. I'm going into season four with everybody else that's new that wants to go into season four. So we're on our own server together. Eventually, after a season or two, of course, we'll be merged with you guys, which is no problem. But that first season experience, at least then, we're only competing with each other. New players with new players. Could be whales in there. Could be a lot of free to play. It doesn't matter. But it's not playing with people that have been playing around for four seasons. I want that so that I can play a new account. You know? I think that'd be great. I, every season I could play a brand new free to play account along with my main account and have a great time. And enjoy the challenge. But server transfers aren't going to fix the issue of everybody on different seasons, different days. It's not going to fix the, okay, I'm over here on season one, day one, two, three, four, five, season two, season three, season four, season seven, season 10. It's not going to fix that because this game cannot survive. I don't believe it can survive if on season 16, you advertise all the new things that are in the game, all the new heroes, all the new improvements they've made on season 16, but somebody goes to play the game and they start out on season one and have to wait two, three, four years to get to season 16. There is no way, like, there, I just can't comprehend that. There is no place in my mind where I can imagine this game can succeed that way. Nobody's going to want to play. Once they realize they're on season one and they got to wait three years to catch up to everybody else and even then we'll be on season 50? No. I can't see that ever working. I just see people, them, then them just losing people over time and then eventually the game will just die out. I, I cannot see that happening. Yo, Sharkbait, what's up, man? Good to see you. What's the deal with Starlight Dice? I think it's a 0.2% chance, was it? 
I don't know. I did a video on it, but I think it's a 0.2% chance, and it's going to start on April the 30th. Once it starts, you'll see a whole bunch of YouTube videos. You'll, you'll see a whole bunch of in-game special events happening, and they'll tell you inside the game. But it's a 0.2% chance it's going to be on April the 30th. 30th is when it should be, so save all your starlight. convey it to the team yeah they say the same thing to us boogeyman <laughs> they say the same thing all the time yeah all the time content creator chat oh yeah we'll relay that to the team oh yeah yeah sure no problem they've been talking about server transfers since season one probably back in beta so it's not like uh we like you never know you never know again how these people relay our desires to the development team right and i think a lot of times it's just one of those things at the end of the weekly meeting maybe they're like okay here's what these players want and are concerned with and what we think would better the game and we just don't know like we're not there seeing what they take serious or not or any of it what actually reaches them how again how it's conveyed to them we just don't have any idea and honestly, for the seasons that I've played, uh, point, did I say 0.2%? 0.02%? 0.2%. 0. Why would it be 0.02%? That's like super low, right? Isn't it 0.2%? Not bad for a prototype. Too bad. 0.02 sounds like way, way too low. <laughs> Even if we're opening up that many, I feel like that that's way too crazy low. I did a video on it, but I didn't show content creator chat from where they posted this. Let me see if I type in Starlight. Content creator chat. Yeah, it's 0.2%, right? Yeah, yeah, one out of 500, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 0 0.02 would be insane. They might as well not even bring it out if it's 0 0.02. Yeah, 0.2%. So one out of 500. Which is pretty nice because if I had that available... James, what's up, my man? Sorry, I forgot you were up here earlier. I saw you. If uh, if they gave me 0.2% since I started playing, I would easily have four to five additional legendaries. Which is pretty nice. Four to five additional legendaries, I could have maybe... like Maybe that's going to be some dupes. I've got some more legendary artifacts or I've got some legendaries I didn't have before. I think it's pretty nice. I'm not... I'm not upset with that change at all. I think it's very good, and it's just... I wouldn't say it's a little late. It's never too late to improve your game, but we've asked for this. We asked for this in beta. I'm talking like content creator chat nonstop, every day for months on end would be like, why can't we get... And we used to always say a 0.5% chance. You know, just to give them an example. We would say, why can't we just get a 0.5% chance on Starlight Dice? You're killing people with this. You're making people not want to play your game. Global launches happens. You hear people talk about, how do I get legendary heroes? All they get is Starlight Dice. All they're getting is Worm Arrow Fragments. They don't truly understand how to go get that gold dice. Like, why to save up Worm Arrow, go buy it. And a lot of players just didn't want to play it when Global Launch happened because Starlight Dice had a 0% chance to get legendaries. If they would have done this at Global Launch, they would have saved a lot of players and kept them around. And I'm talking like we were bashing them about this forever in beta. Beta, before Global. And then Global happened and we kept telling them, all our people, Global Launch. And we're talking, you know, how long ago now? We're on season three. Seven months ago? We were like, come on. It's... Games do this. What is wrong with you people? And then now they listen to us. But I think sometimes when you listen to reason too late, sometimes it is too late. I honestly think if they're, if they're going to do a lot of sweeping changes, if Tencent you know, has bought them out and they're going to do a lot of sweeping changes to the game to make it better, come out with really good deals, make it so everybody can be on the same season together, have the starlight dice thing i feel like you need to rebrand your game and re-release 
Dragonair 2024 global re-release launch. I feel like most games need to do that. And I understand, like, Raid Shadow Legends was nowhere near what it is today, back when I started playing. Like, during... I played a couple weeks into beta. Now, beta went on for Raid for, like, a year, just like Watches of Realms. Watches of Realms had a fully functioning game that they had in beta for a full entire year and did a lot of amazing changes during that year. Even Dragonair had this open beta for a couple one season but we were playing it multiple closed betas like i played dragon air sonic gods a couple seasons before even playing season zero which then led into season one so they had a whole bunch of beta for this game but the problem with dragon air's beta is they kept changing things like we had a free login legendary back way back in whatever alpha it was and they removed that we had a whole bunch of cool things, and then they kept removing it. Yeah, Alpha, right? This game is in beta? Well, that's what I feel like sometimes. Like, they didn't... They came out with this game. It's a beautiful game. The gameplay is awesome. And then now they're slowly, especially with the buyout, now they're slowly getting to a place to where maybe they're listening to people, maybe they're not. Maybe they're understanding what their game really is and how to improve it. But I feel like this is this is the kind of thing that, that a year-long beta is supposed to take care of. Like Watches of Realm being in that year-long beta, they really changed the game to be awesome when it global launched. Same thing with Raid Shadow Legends for that year. Not really with Raid. Okay, I take that back because when Raid launched, it still sucked. When Raid launched day one Raid Shadow Legends, you couldn't farm six-star gear and it said six-star gear. It pissed me off the most. I'm like, you guys have a global launch of a game. It says that I'm farming Dragon's... 15 whatever it was that there's six star gear that can drop but there is no six star gear ever dropping and i was like why would i spend money and farm in your game right now when i know that you're going to flip the switch soon and there's going to be six star gear coming out I'm, I'm like what why do i want to play your game right now none of this gear matters and it's all about gear farming so eventually raid flipped it and we were able to get six star gear like after after global launch quite a ways after and then they start improving the game and it took raid still even really a couple like a year to get into a groove to where they needed to be but it, but it was nowhere near as bad as this because the reason why you know dragon air is such a hard thing for people to really care about is the reset mechanic resetting the gear resetting the heroes and then not making it fun to do it over and over and over Great gameplay, great aesthetics, but then you've got this gameplay loop of resetting heroes and resetting gear that honestly doesn't make sense. I don't want to change that. I don't care to change that. I'm not trying to re remake their game, but it just doesn't make sense to a lot of people because the gameplay loop they add for us to come back and re-level up our heroes and re-get gear, it just it's not it's not exciting is what it comes down to. And if you're going to have a season where you reset all that, you've got to make it exciting, right? You've got to be like, okay, I went through three months. That was awesome. Let's do it again. If you go through three months and you're like, meh, that's the issue, right? That's the biggest issue. If it's exciting, I'm all for it. Let's do it again, baby. I'm ready for reset. If it's slow and drawn out, if this first month is waiting for gates, waiting, 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 I can't even farm gear because I'm waiting for that increased drop at 30 days. I'm saving up all my bread. First 30, like Dragonair for me, is fun for one month out of three. First month, I'm doing nothing. I'm gated, gated, gated. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for this to happen, this day to happen, so I can actually farm gear. Because all these games are about farming gear. It's all about that adrenaline rush, right? That you get from getting an awesome piece of gear. It's like pulling a legendary hero. But I can't farm. We can't farm gear until really the 30-day mark. Not not effectively. And then we have the event happen where we fight all the chief challenges and we get a legendary, which makes it really fun to play then too. And then the last month, it's like a second job. I've got to make. 13 to 15 teams to fight all these chief challenges daily every single day and then that one boss pops up which is awesome i love that boss but i've got such a time crunch i gotta fight that one boss 
that day and make six teams to compete that exact day and then keep up with it for eight days. Sometimes the boss dies early. It's like six days, but it's such a rush of time that you really have to take off work. If you're not like a full-time content creator or retired, you got to take off work to do well for those uh, that in-game boss. But they're working on all this stuff, right? They're supposed to be. B4, what's up, man? Sorry if I missed anybody's comments. I have not been reading anything. I've just been going off on a rant. I have not read anything. You got three Horde Legendaries? What? Man, James, I think your account is, is cheating. I've never gotten a Horn Legendary out of three seasons. Ever. For commission quests. Yeah, you get a lot of purple dice, without a doubt. Boogeyman is, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I didn't read all this stuff, but you get a lot of purple dice. So that 0.2%, one out of every 500 is great. Like you can't beat that. For free to play for all of us, it's, it's amazing. Measure the high quality. I didn't. I didn't hear it. May the allow me to come blessings of starlight. They could have a. Yeah, they're gonna have an event for it. They are having an event for this starlight increase. You won't be able to miss it. They're doing some kind of event, event on the thirtieth. They're gonna give everybody inside the game one hundred additional starlight. Okay, they're not gonna give you one hundred starlight. They're gonna do some kind of event to where you can get one hundred additional starlight. So it's gonna be a big thing. You're going to see inside the game, Starlight Dice now give you legendaries, and they're going to do something to where I would assume we go around and do some dungeons. What's up with the wind outside? That's crazy. They're going to do some dungeons or some kind of thing that you just go around and you get over the period, I don't know if it's a week, a couple days, you get 100 additional Starlight. Yeah. There is no pity that we know of. So if you have bad RNG, you have bad RNG. Yeah. That's how it is, baby. Bad RNG. That's what's what it's going to be. Are these mythics down here that say new, new, new? Okay, so we did... What did we do? 26... Did we do almost 50 runs? No, we only did 46 runs, correct? 46 runs with how many mythics? These three. But how come this guy looks like a mythic over here? I guess the mythic looks like they're really on fire. I think it's just those three, which we kind of got early. No, no, there's a fourth. And a fifth. Is that a mythic? Yes. Oh, defense percent. <laughs> what? I kind of wish the mythics were more of a pop, right? Can you guys tell which one are mythics or not? Yeah, yeah, we can use we can use tons of purple dice on the test server once it hits. Uh, huh? Yeah, I wish it launched that way too, my friend. I do. Four ads pop up. They shouldn't be like that. It's like max thirty seconds. Meteor Storm said, I've never seen an ad on Twitch before. Well, you are a subscriber. Whenever you subscribe to a channel, you don't see ads on that channel. That is true. But you should not be seeing an ad. 20 minutes, maybe like every 20 minutes, 30 second ad, but there's no way you should be seeing more than that. I'll go check, but I've never had, I've never had anybody say that. And I've been streaming a long time. Critical damage. Okay, nice. There's another one, right? One piece effect. Okay, so how many is that? We did 46 runs. Wait, there's another one. What if I just batch sell? Maybe I can clear out some of this clutter.
Because we're going to need some coin to level all this up anyways. Oh yeah, look at all that. What is that, 2 million? That's not even a lot. Oh, it's still there. It's still on my way, but at least it's kind of darkened out. So we have... Four. Five. Six. I want to say six. I think it's no seven. Oh, no more. Seven, eight, nine. So we got nine out of um, 46 runs. I don't think that's too terribly bad. It does. Boogie Man. Yeah, it does. It does. Say 20% guaranteed at 50th dice. Yeah, that's for that's for the epics right now, right? Yeah, always. We can't control that. We can't control when you first log into a uh, stream. I don't believe most of them were the HP HP. Okay, now we got to look at the good ones. We got to see if there's any good ones. But still, I think it's nine nine out of forty six runs that I got right there. It's gonna be different for everybody RNG, but those are the what I got right at this point. We'll see. We'll do another batch run later. Now let's see if there's any good ones. Uh, critical damage? Okay, this is actually really good for Amon. She's got a 100% chance to crit on all of her moves. We got accuracy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Boogeyman's going crazy. 20 tier 1 subs to everybody. 77 subs in the channel. Thank you so much for the love and support, my man. I hope you hit, uh, who, who was it? Who? I hope you hit Squizzle. Squizzly. Did you hit Squizzly? <laughs> Woo, let's go. Squizzly, did you get a sub? Mm, I'm looking through here. I'm looking. I don't think so. <laughs> do, you, do you have a... Uh... Squizzly, do you have Amazon Prime? You can always give a free sub every single month to any content creator that you watch um, through Amazon Prime, and it's free to you. It's free to you completely. You already pay for Amazon Prime. Amazon's a part of uh, Twitch, so it's all free. This is pretty good. We got accuracy, which I don't use on her. I got crit rate in. Man, even if I don't use this piece on Amon, which I am for sure, this got accuracy here, attack percentage, and crit rate. That's, that's so good. These two on the side are so bad. <laughs> hey, man, thanks so much for it. Hey, Blood Sample coming in with the gift and stuff. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I'll PM you and you can give me a rundown on how it all works. Yeah, there's a way for you to go in if you have uh, Twitch. You can do this every month for anybody that you watch. You have to activate it monthly. It won't do it like, okay, I gave it to Stu Gaming. Now every month, Stu Gaming has my free Twitch Prime thing. You go in every month, and then you just say, okay, I give it to this content creator or that content creator. Yeah. But it is totally free, as long as you have Amazon Prime. To one a month. So whoever you're currently watching that month, hit them up with that, and you won't have to worry about any kind of ads, which is pretty nice. Considering it's completely free. Okay. Hey, man, thanks again for all the subs. Boogeyman coming in with a love. Blood sample. Appreciate it, guys. So what other kind of gloves are we going to use? I mean, obviously, we want strike one for a 35% additional damage. It's glorious. We got a great one. The best I could hope for, actually, right now. But this these gloves seem to be just not worth it. 35% bonus effect on up... We've tested these on the test server, and they did... They were terrible. Like, it didn't even make sense to use this type of glove. And I've got flat attack and defense, so I don't really have good options. When a hero dies in glance... Oh, this is... 15% of their attack. So just arena, and I got defense, defense, and HP. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is good. This is this one's really good. We get the additional 15% attack for every skill haste we have. I can work with this. Critical damage. Okay, come on. Give me give me crit rate. Crit rate. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know if I can really work with this piece too much. 15% attack. I mean, if this was attack percentage instead of critical damage or crit rate, because I've got nothing to go with it. I guess I could wear the three-piece set for every critical damage I have, I get attack. And then I'd have this on for every skill haste I have, I get attack. I, I don't know. It's a lot harder to work with this one. But it's an option. I guess that was it. That's all we got. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. But I already had I already had one. Yeah, I had one. I had one before from the gift they gave us. Okay, what about the random one we're gonna get for this event? Or two we're gonna get from this event. Oh shit. I mean shucks. They already showed us it. I would have had to click it right then to see it. Okay, we got one more here. Come on, come on, please, please. Critical damage again? Attack? Okay, give me some hits into this flat attack and I can put this on Amon and then I can save this critical damage for somebody else with attack and crit rate. Come on, hit attack, hit attack. Enlightenment. I don't really need critical damage and enlightenment. What is it doing? What is it doing? Any kind of derivative damage can't crit. Now, it could be somebody that has enlightenment that also does crits. Like, this could go fine on... What's the pirate's name? Karf? He does a lot of damage based off of enlightenment, plus he can crit, so this would be okay. <laughs> but... <laughs> Damn, man. Killing me. This has attack and attack percent. This is so good. Is like a if you Her damage is going to skyrocket, but I need to... Okay. We have other gear we need to look at, too. So let's see if we got any attack percentage on a chest piece. That is very hard to come by. I only have one, and I still only have one. Harsh. Flat attack. Flat attack. Attack percentage. Whoa, let's go. Oh, man. Basic attack. So this attack percentage, it's got crit rate on it too, though. I'll take it. This is a beautiful piece. Really good for Dauntless, but we'll still take it. Somebody just got Felicity. Flat main stats from Legendary plus gear? Yeah, I think we do. I mean, there's no reason for me to hold on to a whole bunch of flat attack, I guess, now. Since I'm able to farm gear. Right? I'll hold on to these defense percentage. I'll hold on to some resistance. One or two resistance, one or two accuracy. And then I'll get rid of the rest. I mean, I've got a lot of bread saved. So for me, I don't got to worry about it, right? What's going on with Ice Blast? On there, but I lost my wallet a couple months ago. What, what happened? You lost your wallet? Man, I, I hate losing your... Like, losing my wallet would be the worst thing. I have my wallet hidden. I have my wallet hidden in a pair of shoes up there. So, my my kids and their friends can't reach it. I told you guys a while ago that right money was missing from my wallet and my and I started recording right here on my camera and this one girl that comes over we could swear it's this one girl that was stealing money from my wallet another young girl child that would visit our house did I catch the culprit I just had it recording that one time and I left my wallet right here and she kept looking at it whenever she walked by out there she kept like like literally 
you know, she's only nine years old, like my daughter. She was like just looking at it. And then my daughter was with her and we'd already grilled my kids. So my kids were like scared as shit, you know? Um, so the girl kept looking, but I never did it enough to like, uh, to catch her. Although she's been coming over more lately. So maybe I should put a few bucks in there and leave my wallet here and keep recording. In your shoes? You do? You put it in your shoe? Yeah, but my shoe's kind of up on a rack up there. So it's, it's, uh, see back there? See those shoes on the, this side right here? How do I move my finger? There. You can't even see the top shoe though. There's two more, there's two more shoes above that white one right there. So it goes up a little high. And uh, it's at the top one. I've also got like one thousand four hundred dollars up there in one of the in the same shoe, <laughs> the two pair of shoes, because I got to pay this guy to do window tint in in a week from now. He's coming over here to do window tint. He's gonna do the reflective glass on these two glass sliding doors downstairs, and he's doing like blackout, not blackout, but darker on the whole upstairs windows. So I've got a lot of cash to pay him when he comes by. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you can make it to my house and get to my shoes, you got it made, man. <laughs> you got it. You're like, oh, I'm going to rob from this house. Oh, I know this guy. You're going to go in here and see shoes, shoes, shoes. You're going to be like, I know this guy's top shoe. I got this made. Shouldn't tell you. I'm not worried about it. Buying a $200 ticket. Man, you know how much it costs to go from here to LA even? Last year when I went from here to LA, round trip, it was like thirty three thousand six hundred dollars or something. It's pretty expensive, but my dad's coming out here. My dad and his his wife are gonna be coming out here. They were gonna come out in May. But they're gonna come out, I think, in August. And they're from Florida. So Florida all the way to here, Japan, because you gotta fly all across the states, go to the West Coast, then fly over to Japan, which I've done many times because I'm from Florida and it sucks. It's, it's like a uh, a 24-hour flight, you know? It's insane. A few years back, it was $1,000. Yeah, it's pretty expensive to fly. Or at least it was when I checked into it. It's bonkers. Two grand from the Middle East to Canada. Isn't that a long flight, though? The fighting wind at the border may you ever traveled to the States? Yeah, last year I went to L.A. King Arthur Legends Rise. I got their shirt on right now. Flew me to LA for four days. So I got to go to LA for four days, hang out with them, do some stuff with them. That was a year ago. The game's still not out. The game's beta is still not out yet. And um, that was the last time I've been back to the States in the last eight years. And after that four days, I was ready to come back. I was, I was ready to come back, you know? I was like, okay, I got to see LA. I'm ready to roll. Let's get out of here. Look at this. Attack percentage. I've just got this one and this one. Hey, man, thanks so much for the prime sub. Appreciate the love, my man. Nordic country, Turkey, etc. Well, if it was $1,000 back in the day and now it's 2800 or 2000 But I hear tickets from something like Florida to Georgia aren't bad, right? Short flights, I don't think are that expensive. But a long flight across the whole entire globe to here to Japan, it's quite it's quite expensive. Come on, crit rate. Okay, one hit into crit rate. I'll take it. Defense. Man, it would have been nice to get two hits. But defense is always good. No, it's HP. Defense percentage is always great. And then HP. Okay, we can work with that one too. But it's not on a piece of gear that I really want to use i got nine out of 20 46 runs 46 runs we got nine to where blood sample where were you going round trip from texas to seattle oh okay round trip yeah i think if you're doing inside the states it's not bad you're not burning anywhere near as much fuel to fly to Japan. And again, it's it depending on your layovers, it could be like a, anywhere from a 19 to a 24 hour flight. Is attack percentage gloves? Absolutely. 
If you have attack percentage gloves, they're always good to hold on to. We have a lot of heroes that benefit from attack percentage. Something like this guy right here, Varesh, Zarloth, even somebody like her, if I had attack percentage here, would be fine. If I didn't have critical damage, attack percentage would be great because I don't need crit rate on her because she always crits. That would be perfectly fine. Okay, what other mythical gear do I really want? I've already got this lucky enough to go on Sonaro. I could obviously use another piece of this with defense percentage for... What's his name? For my support. Like any kind of support, defense percentage would be great. Enlightenment would be great. One for enlightenment, one for defense percentage to go on my tank. If I'm using Garius. And then this one... I don't think I need it. And of course I could use some more legendary gear. I had a question. Does the Vortex boss crit when it does that lightning strike down? Reduces the damage taken by 25%. He doesn't crit, does he? The lightning strike keeps building up because he gets that damage increase, but I don't believe that crits. So this gear would be really cool. Yeah, so this gear, 25% less damage would be amazing on my Ardrith, who's taking, you know, has the most HP. Yeah, it does get a massive damage increase, but 25% less would be pretty sweet, especially since I'm shielding up so much. Ever crit? Okay, so that gear, that gear set would be pretty strong. Mm, the only one I want out of here is the wearer has a 50% chance to dispel one buff from the enemy when they inflict a debuff. Only because this would be fun if we put it on somebody applying a lot of debuffs, maybe on Ancient Battlefield, then we don't have to bring in somebody to dispel. They're applying debuffs, they're removing his buffs. Same thing with Grave of Curse, but I'm not going to chase after this. I'm not going to waste my... Oh, this one has the defense one too. Yeah, this is really nice gear. Puppeteers, 15% of the wearer's defense goes to everybody around them. That's pretty strong. But really what I need... What is heretical? Where's heretical runes? I need some of these, right? Because our runes are specific to an element. And I guess I can make some good teams now. We can start making some gear sets. On Garius Ardrith right now. Nice. It's only one tile array. Right. It has to be. I would assume it had to be touching them. Like this. Let's say Ardrith had the puppeteer set on. It would have to be. To give effect to the whole entire team. It would have to be set up like this. Right. As long as they're within one tile touching her. So if you had it on two people only the back two or front two you know somebody that, like these two could take advantage of both of them but that's it right taking the lightning strike yeah I'd like to test out that set for the lightning strike I think 25% less damage would be really strong especially since I'm doing decreased attack here and I'm doing some massive shields Big batch of bread? What? What? When are we getting the this one? I don't know. The 600 bread? We've got it on the test server, but I don't know if we're ever going to see it. Okay, let's give this lady her new gloves. And let's save this set. But now I've got to make sure I get a... Okay, this, this, this is a good set. I guess. But I don't even have attack percentage. I've got flat attack here. 387. Mm. I'm looking for critical damage substat. Eight. 16. We got any attack there? 15, no attack, but we haven't leveled this up. Okay, no good there. Oh, critical damage, let's go. 
Attack percentage. Oh, and critical damage. Woo. Yes. <laughs> okay. Still, we're getting an increase here of 177. We're losing critical damage. What kind of critical damage is this? This has 33 critical damage. Hot damn. Oh, now this has a lot of attack, though. All right, now we've got a full set. And we've got... That's not right. We've got this on her. Are you admiring my trinkets? Hmm. Custom made, not for sale. Okay, overwrite that one. What I miss? When you ever fly in, tell me. Osaka? I'm not near Osaka. I would love to go to Osaka. They just had an earthquake down there a couple days ago. Um, I went to Osaka for New Year's one time when I was in the military and single, and it was a great time. Yeah, Boogeyman, let me know when you're coming, though. For sure. Do you live in L.A.? You live in California? I mean, I only went there one time for King Arthur, but they might invite me back when they do a global launch. Like when the game gets going, and if I really cover it, they might invite me back over there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I should have told you. I was there at the Roosevelt Hotel and I didn't have anything. Well, I won't say I didn't have anything to do because the day of we all went out to eat dinner at this awesome place. I can't even, I don't even remember the name. And then that night we went to that bar that you go through the vending machine to go to the bar. Please, bro. It's coming, man. It's coming. The same thing when my wife says that too. She's like, King Arthur's never going to come out. Come on. So we went to that bar where you go through the vending machine and, uh, all night long and we drank like crazy so the next day i was kind of down and out i ordered room service i had this huge sandwich and then i went across the street to all the um, the souvenir shops to get t-shirts and stuff for my kids and wife uh but yeah i could have definitely made time to go do something and i wanted to try out like new york pizza places i wanted to try out uh, chipotle because i haven't had it in seven years there was a lot of things i wanted to do that i didn't go do because I drank so much the night before. But with four days, I definitely had time. Yeah, Rifter, King Arthur, man. Biggest thing you've ever seen. Soon. <laughs> soon, soon. It's coming. It's coming. One day. One day it'll be here. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on with that game. Is this the team I was using for this boss? All right, save that gear. This is A, B. This is the bird. Are you but this is all, like, as you can see, this is like very old, old gear, right? I'm pretty sure I have critical damage. Yeah. Anybody fight any of the chief challenges yet? They've been pretty easy. I don't even feel like going to give these guys better gear now. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Continue. Let's go. Anywhere in Florida, hit me up. Nice, nice. Appreciate that, Boogie. Yeah, I'm in. I'll, I'll be going to Florida eventually because my family is there, Tallahassee. I'm from Jacksonville and Tallahassee. I was born in Tampa, but I'll eventually be going back sometime to Tallahassee. At least my my parents want me to. <laughs> they want me to, and they're getting old, you know. So eventually, I've got to go visit them instead of them continually visiting us all the time. We've got to go visit them, and my kids want to see the states, you know. So I, I guess we got to make some trips there. This is my what is that? I got to look that up. I have no idea where that's at. Is that is that in Florida? Allow me to come 
What is? Is that Japan? Oh, I've never been there before. Yeah, I don't know these Japanese names. Oh, that's more near Osaka, though. Yeah, that's near Osaka. Yeah, I'm all the way up at Tokyo. So it's a bit of a ways. Although, I've been talking to my family about going to Osaka for Universal Studios, and then they've got that Godzilla with the zip line on that little island over there. But my wife has no interest in doing that. Because she says the Godzilla Museum is very boring. And the zip line's the only cool thing there. And we'd have to, like, taxi it out. Or maybe they've got a train system to get to that. But Universal will be fun, fun enough, you know? Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, too bad that's not in Tokyo. If you were in Tokyo, anytime you came here, you know, I'm here. Chilling. Doing this. Yuri on? How am I building her? I'm just making it so that she can do damage. I mean, I've got her... I've got her built better on the Vortex boss. This is old gear we have on right now. Are we not getting an increased drop rate here? I thought sometimes we get double... Well, like a lot of times we get double drop here. I'm not going to do double runs. Let me just do a few runs. And then I'll do my double runs on Ancient Battlefield. They've always been scuffed. I thought we at least got two legendaries per run on nine. Now we got one legendary plus some fragments to make another one, but it wasn't enough. It was like three fragments, right? And we need them. We need them here because they drop all the elements. So even if it's a good drop, it could be a good drop in frost. And I don't need frost right now. I need radiant or, you know, radiant and fire would be nice. Sell for so much less, so we don't get a lot of coin for these guys. So we get less of them, and we don't get a lot of coin. Kind of sucks. I try to put Dantha in like good DPS gear. I don't worry about accuracy because I don't think she can miss with that debuff. And that's about it. And she doesn't do a lot of damage on her own. Not really. Decent, I guess. 19% of overall damage when it's up against my legendary. Even less now because my legendary's got those gloves on. I'll be able to give the same kind of gloves to Dantha if I want to. But she's really there just to give aura to Amon and then to give us that buff so we do more damage. She's just there to enhance Amon because I have Amon. Otherwise, if I didn't have her, I wouldn't even be playing aura. I've got Linkos. Linkos and I think her name's Dantha or something like that. What's her name? Diantha? I'd have to look at her name again. Her right here. So I've got her in Linkos, but I wouldn't even be playing Aura at all if I didn't get the exclusive. Because I don't think they're good. They're definitely not good without Amon over here. I don't think they're worth playing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you need accuracy for her. I've never focused on any accuracy at all, and it always applies. Although she doesn't say she's got 100% to apply debuffs like our boy Snarl has. But she never misses this. It's got the gold border too, which means it can't be removed. But that doesn't mean it can't... That doesn't mean it doesn't need accuracy though. It's kind of weird. But I've never ever had it miss. So we do not need accuracy. James, what do you got? Oh, he's talking about big ice tank for other world boss with the ally protection? I'm not looking forward to going back to Florida because of the flight. Like, nobody ever looks forward to going to Florida to here. Even my family members because the flight is so damn long. Even when I took the flight from here to L.A. Um, I don't know. I just hate flights. I hate how greasy I feel when I get off a flight. I immediately just want to jump in a shower right when I get off the flight. And it's just not a fun experience. I don't like flying. It's just, it's just very boring, and, and I just feel miserable. Allow me to come 
And I'm not flying first class or anything. If you fly first class from Florida to Japan, sure, I'm sure it'd be great. You would just lounge out in a chair, go to sleep for a long time with plenty of leg room. I'm sure it's not bad. Yeah, we're only getting one legendary plus three. Normally with the increased drop rate, I'm telling you, we get two. Allow me to come forth. I thought. I mean, it seems like it's worse odds than gear, because gear, we don't always get two with gear, but even if we don't get two, we get enough to craft another piece, right? We'll get one legendary piece on stage nine, plus we'll get enough to craft one other piece. Sometimes we'll get two full pieces. I don't even feel like this is doing the same odds. Like, I don't feel like we're getting a full piece here, plus enough to craft. We're not. We can see that. And then sometimes we will get two full pieces here. But you're right, it's less than legendary gear, and we need more of these. Because gear we can put on anybody, so we need way more of these. This is nine, right? With all the crazies running around, what's going on? The variants and the rune drops are insane. What are you talking about, Rifter? The, the crazies running around? Where, where? In America? Oh, for flying? I didn't run. I didn't run up into any crazies. Luckily, no crazy people at all. I will tell you that the the L.A. airport, man, there are a lot of police officers or law enforcement agencies there. Not just police officers. There's there's tons of people at the L.A. airport walking around with guns and vests on everywhere. It's pretty wild. This is my domain. I don't see that here in Japan. You know, we don't we don't have uh, we don't have law enforcement like that here in Japan. I mean, we have we have a couple officers at the airport when you first walk in that are just kind of looking at people, but not like not like L.A. It was pretty wild. I will say this too about LA. LA had a whole bunch of people in the airport like that are like concierge or whatever that help people out. Like if they don't know where they're going or what they're doing. But they were just like old dudes in old blazers that look like they were from the back in the day. What, Matlock and stuff. You know the old shows where you got that old detective. And they're wearing like a tweed coat and it looks like they've got clothes from the 60s. Almost looks like, almost looks like they have clothes from like a bargain bin. But they had the official little thing around their neck or whatever saying that they're whatever the airlines are. What are they called? Like um, CTA or whatever, whatever the, whatever the little acronym for it is. And they were official people to help people out. But they didn't shave. They looked like they had a five o'clock shadow. They just looked kind of miserable. It looked like they were almost to the verge of homelessness. <laughs> Senior seniors need jobs too. Yeah, yeah, but these I'm telling you these guys were not seniors. They just were wearing old clothes They were official airline employees, but man, they looked crazy here in Japan Like every airline employee is wearing a very nice uniform Whatever whatever airline they're with it's like a very nice uniform for the men a suit for the woman It's an awesome looking like uniform dress and uh, There's no mistaking like how clean They are and that they definitely work for the airport. So I asked one of those guys where the ATM was. And then I went back and asked him one time where the taxi was. Because there was multiple ones of those dudes standing around. But I guess you just get to wear your own attire. And not shave. It was just a whole different kind of feel, man. You got to understand, Japan's very different than, than the States. And I haven't been back to the States in a long time, so... And then when I left the States, I flew out of Jacksonville, I guess. And flying out of Jacksonville, there's not all that kind of crazy security at that time. There wasn't as much crazy security as I was seeing it at uh, the L.A. airport. But it's international L.A. airport, so I can imagine, of course, they're going to have a hundred times the security that someplace like Jacksonville would have. Yeah, those guys weren't seniors. I think they were just homeless, <laughs> hired for the day to give directions to people. Yeah. 
it's a different feel, but it's a very different feel than if I go into a McDonald's here in Japan. Like McDonald's here in Japan, they all have uniforms, they all look extremely clean, and they all look, you know, like regular people. I think a lot of times in, in McDonald's in America, it, it could be hit or miss, you know, it could be very different. I've been watching a lot of videos the last three days, right? Because I've been working out in my home lately. So I got like this big new pad. I've got like these new weights. And I bought these new weights for my wife. But by the way, if you guys are going to get home weight dumbbells, these dumbbells are amazing. The adjustable ones. So just last week, we got rid of all of our free weights. Because my wife uses them in the morning. And I was going to the gym, so I wasn't using them as much. But we got the adjustable ones just this week. Here's the kind that you like slide in. You slide in and slide out. You pick the weight you want. And this is this is actually a, a heavier one. This doesn't have all the weight on it. But they're so convenient. This, and this is a smaller version of that, right? So I've got two whole big ones, two whole smaller ones, and my wife's loving it. But they are so convenient and they take up way less room. And you just, the smaller ones, you just twist to get the weight you want, pick it up. The larger ones, you have to, you know, change the dials on the side. But they are awesome if you guys are looking at some weights for your house. So what do we get? Uh, bat cell, I guess. I'm sure there's some of these lower ones I might be able to use. So not a lot, right? After all those runs? Did we do five runs or six? Okay, five runs. We got one guaranteed to run, and now we can only make three? Nine out of five runs. Okay, I guess that's almost two per run. Attack with crit rate. That's pretty nice. Defense with accuracy. junk stuff oh come on man we can't be disappointed like the whole thing the whole thing they sold us on was you don't have to worry about refarming your gear because refarming gear is going to be exciting and easy they sold us on that but honestly refarming this gear is the same thing as me farming in raid you know it's the same as me farming in any other game that i play and those other games we play also let us change our substats now because they've been out for a while, right? They have ways for us to change our substats, improve our substats. You know, they have these little cool things that we can do to augment this, which makes it even more fun. These are a lot of good pieces. Should we go fight? Let's go do Ancient Battlefield and then we'll go fight some Chief Challenges to see how those Chief Challenges are, see if they're tough or not. We'll do double runs here. Have you ever used this lady from the event? I haven't used her on the test server. I have not. But since my account is pretty robust, I will use her on a on a on a frost team for sure. She's frost, right? Is she she's frost. She's got to be was she lightning? I could swear she was frost. Oh, she's frost. Where is she? Are my eyes now? There she is. Okay. I think it's cool that she's got a chance to put decrease attack up, and she's going to do it pretty often. So you start the battle with shields on, which is pretty pretty strong, right? Any battle, especially going up against something like the Harpy, starting with shields on, and then whenever you're attacked, anybody attacked, you've got a chance to apply decrease attack two for 10 seconds. I think that is extremely strong. Plus, she's putting up shields here. And has a chance to freeze people. This one we just do cold damage. Remove all of their shields. And target non-elite will steal their shield instead. So this one is okay for removing of shields. But I think just starting out with this would decrease attack. And it's any shield. So it doesn't matter if it's her generating the shields or not. If your guys are attacked with shields on. You got a 30% chance to throw up. Decrease attack for 10 seconds. I think that's pretty sweet. And you get control immunity. On top of all that, for 10 seconds every 20 seconds. I think that's pretty good. Is she going to be like Ardrith to where she's a mainstay? 
for every team you play? No. She's not an Ardrith. But I think she could be pretty strong. And I need all the support I can get in Frost, that's for sure. Because I don't have Felosia. I wish. I wish I had her, and I don't have Finya. I wish I had her too. Right? So we need we need some more help, some more support. Early stream revamp. What's up, my man? Yeah, we had to start at reset because we have all this new gear to farm. And chief challenges to check out. We got to get in here and get it done, revamp. And my wife's off today, so she went to the gym. And by the time I get done with this, I can chill with her for a minute. And then she's got to leave at 1 o'clock to go see my kids' teachers. They're new teachers. All right, she's got the gear on. She has wrong gear. Actually, I need to load up everybody from... I need to load up all my people from my current Vortex team. Oh, no, 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 no. So I need high resistance, right? I could play this team and then remove Acelia and bring in... Oh, we had him in here. We had him in here for the buffs removal. Removal though. What's his resistance? There's no way this guy was running with 60 resistance. <laughs> Impossible. If you want to live, you enlightenment, enlightenment. Oh, do we have resistance over here? Oh, yeah, nice. Defense too. Skill haste. Skill haste and defense? Wow. Let's go with that. Now he's looking at 130. I can't trust that view. <laughs> Defense percentage there. Okay, good. He's going to get hit. That's right. We were having problems with keeping him alive, weren't we? If we put if we put him in the back, we were having real issues with him taking that first hit and not dying. Do you guys remember? We had to put on this. But then his resistance was low. We had to give him We had to give him some other gear. He was getting smacked down just from that first hit from the boss. It was pretty sad, actually. Defense? Do I have defense yet? Flat defense. It's not really what I want, but I'll take it. See if we can keep him in enlightenment. Enlightenment. He's got resist. He's got plenty of resistance now. I would think we could either use this or we could go with some additional healing and resistance from this one. This gives him HP. This gives him enlightenment. Oh, this will be fine. This gives him enlightenment plus 110 resistance and 25% on healing. Let's see if he can live. Okay. What this dude have on him? He's got no gear now. Twenty one accuracy. Give him a little defense, keep him alive. And he's got accuracy on. Okay, 248 accuracy. 
Let's see what happens. How many dice am I looking to roll? I don't think we have to roll that many dice. Maybe 20 dice or maybe even 10 dice. It depends on how much, how high you can score each week. And we looked at it earlier. If you can score in the top 40, was it? 20? Yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to have to roll 20. If you're not going to score in the top 20 every week, you got to roll 40. Or 20. Right? You might have to roll 40 if you can't get 22 million on every boss. If you get 90, 90, that's 180. And then we're 20 short. Okay, so... You got to get 22 million on every single boss every week to get the full 90. Then you get 90 from all the dungeons we do. And then we've got 20 left over, so you need to roll 20 dice. Unless you do really well on the ranking. Like the accumulative total ranking for that week. And if you can do top 40, you can get 5 each week, which will give you that 20. So you won't have to spend a dime. The dice? Oh, he's talking about... I think he's talking about rolling... Um, he's, he's talking about his Heliolite dice, rolling those for the event. To get the additional ore for us on Season 3. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the hero, right. But you don't have to do that. If you can do really well, you don't have to do that. But I don't think I'm going to be top 40. I don't even think I'm going to try. And I've got dice and I kind of want to summon anyway. So let's summon. Let's do a few runs here and then let's summon. Oh, I need to do double runs. I think this team is fine. Let's do this team. We'll set up some double runs. Maybe like five. Try to get some additional pieces of gear. And then we'll go... Do some summons. All right, let's do some summons now before we do these runs. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's go at least for one legendary. One legendary. Let's get the juice for the legendary. Kung Pai. The sports drink right here. It's 100 calories for the whole entire two liters, I think. I think that's what it is, two liters. And it, and it has a little bit of flavor to it. So it's not as boring as drinking water, basically, is what it comes down to. Let's go, legendaries. Can we get an exclusive, please? Neshjinka, Flora, or Lothair? I guess I'd take Bell. No, I would. we got new ones. I'll take Bell. I'll take Rook. Rook, Azul. Yeah, yeah, I'll take those two. This is just not enough. This is nowhere near... It's it's a little bit short of what we get from Legendary Gear Farming. Hmm. Okay, what other goodies, goodies do we get? Oh, Filto? My boy Filto? I wish... Is Zephy... When is Zephy coming up? I could actually save up some dice for Zephy. On the 28th. So Zephy is coming up. I could have an unkillable team with my Ogok. Okay, and I don't have... I have... I don't have him, right? Yurion, I don't have Whisk. Sonarl's in here too. Man, this is a pretty good banner for people to summon on with Zephy and Sonarl. Hubberg is awesome. Sutha, I've got... I've got... Even a Ripkus is cool too. But these two are really awesome. And you've got Total Nan in here along with who else? Who else? Cypherus. Nathaniel. Nathaniel over here. I mean, that's some pretty good, pretty good players. Nathaniel, Cypherus, and Total Nan. All right, we're going to get some creation to level up our artifacts. That's it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. I was kind of hoping for some more rewards, right? You need to summon Zarloth? Zarloth was my last wanted epic, and I finally got him, I think, last season. Here we go, guys. Good luck on all your summons. Let's see what we get. Thank you, thank you. Oh, is that a legendary right away? Let's go, baby, right away. Come on. Something good. Non-dupe? Felosia? Felosia. Okay, let's go with Felosia. Oh, cool. What's this guy's name? This lizard's actually really good, right? Removes shields, gives us shields, heals based off of his shields, decrease attack, 
and Chrysos, right? <laughs> Rook? It wasn't Rook. I wish. Although, we've got 35 more to do just to see what we can get. Man, that's pretty cool. It's a non-duplicate. He's strong. This guy can really help us get through content. I just don't know where I'd use him because I use Garius right now. I use Ardrith. We put him in a set that can give him better healing, better shielding. He does insane shields based off of his max HP. Decrease attack. I'm sure we could fit him in somewhere. Okay. Should we do 35 more summons on this banner? Or should we do 35 summons for Filto? Now, I've already got all these other heroes. Is the problem. I've got everybody, but do I have that guy? Yeah, I think I, I have everybody on here. Filto's the only one I'm missing, so the odds aren't good. It's a 1 in 9 chance for us to get Filto, which I don't think that's great. I have crazy RNG, do I? I mean, the banner, the only thing I want from this, I want Filto. I think Filto is an awesome hero, like extremely powerful and fun. But yeah, it's not really worth me going after this since I have everything else. Actually, I might not have buy him free, but who cares? Yeah, we need to save for the other banner, right? For the Zephy banner that's coming up next. You got, you got him? Yeah, that's why I'd like to get Zephy from the next banner coming up. Is he Filto's your favorite one? So strong, right? Careful for what you pull on the points? What do you mean? On this one, careful for when I pull on this banner right here. We could save, guys, but uh, I don't really feel like saving. I want to see another legendary. Let's go. Filto go burr. <laughs> Filto goes burr. All right, let's see what we get. We're going on the normal banner. We'll get some additional scrolls, some legendary scrolls. That's cool. Let's see what our luck is. Are we going to go all the way to 35? Bless me with one more legendary so I don't have to go to 35, please. One extra, please. Just an early legendary right now would be great. Oh, man, we're going 35, boys. Everybody. 35 gold dice. I'm pretty sure I have all the epics. I don't think there's any epic I'm missing. I guess that... No, there's no way I'm even messing, missing a new epic because we summon so much on that banner. Nope. Hey, at least we're getting some essence of creation. Mm. Okay, make it worth it. Make it worth it, please. Yes, one more. Thank you. Here we go. Guaranteed legendary. What's it gonna be? Rook? Rook's coming. Rook's coming. If it was Rook, I would lose my mind. Care for a song? Oh, God. No. No, the worst. What kind of radiant artifact can we get? Even if I didn't have him, I would be so disappointed right now. I'm glad I already have him, so now at least it's an artifact. But if I didn't have him, I would be so disappointed. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, now it doesn't even matter how well I do on these chief challenges. I could just get like 7 million or 3 million on these chief challenges and still do. Still get her, right? Let's go look at the exchange really quick. Awaken him? What? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? What does an awaken do for him? <laughs> awaken him. <laughs> Where is he? Where's this scrub guy at? Mr. Kelp? What I have I have him leveled, right? Or I did have him leveled. Or No, I didn't level him because I played him on the test server and then I had him leveled like for the first six days that we could knock them back down and I just knocked his ass back down. Just by him? This is pretty interesting. Like, I, I gotta admit, this is pretty interesting to have damage dealt to enemies with a shield increased by 20%. 
Now, when do I face enemies with shields? Grave of Curse? PvP? I think that's interesting, but his damage is so bad that this won't help him anywhere. This is pretty... Why is he so damage-based? What is wrong with this guy? But look at this. Damage dealt to an enemy for every 15% of the target's max HP over that of the hero. The damage dealt is increased by 1% up to 12%. That's awesome, and it's very unique for a damage dealer. Because all the damage dealers usually... They all have this, right? Crit rate, critical damage, attack increase, initial ultimate energy. But this guy just is not a damage dealer. What does she get? Oh, same thing. Okay, so it's good for it's good for her for sure. And then even she is not like a massive damage dealer. Reduce the hero's damage taken by twenty percent when under control. I still like this. This is actually pretty nice. Increased by twelve percent. I don't know. Or is or is something else? They're a little bit weird. <laughs> a little strange. All right, legendaries. What can we get with we can get something to help out our rally heroes? Anybody use any of these rally ones? I have a lot of rally heroes and I love playing legendary rallies. I do. I'm just missing Filto. He's the, like the only one I'm missing. But we've got Alton, Hubberg, Lorenthal. I think that's it. After consuming Rally by casting a skill, the wearer's damage is increased by 15 10% for 15 seconds. But when would you ever stack this three times? The Lindor? Yeah, well, he's an exclusive. I don't have him. This is critical damage, which is pretty cool, but when would this really stack up three times? The Staff one, the King? The Flute of the King? So you just get 25% additional damage bonus every time you cast Rally with crit rate and attack. This would go really well on, um, I guess, Hubberg? I don't know what Alton's damage is pulling in. Yeah, yeah, 25% additional damage is pretty nice when you cast a skill with Rally. And you get crit rate and attack. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to use it right now. I'm just looking. I'm window shopping. Yeah, Filto would be great. This is, oh, this is for anybody. That's all. I already got the one that helps out Aura, which really doesn't help out Aura that much. I already got this one. All right, I'll save it. Sometimes you got to wait till next season. You know, for a guy like me, I got to save a couple for next season. I do want to get, though, I, I eventually want to pick up this one. This one's pretty sweet. Actually, I think the hook is pretty cool, right? We get attack, attack percentage, 15% crit. And when you're not at 100% HP, you do 15% more damage. I think the hook could be useful. But I need to get the pipe organ. Range heroes in the team gain 10% of the wearer's attack. Attack, attack. I think, I think this would be sweet. Even with Filto? Yeah, yeah. You're talking about that one to get the three stacks? Yeah, I don't understand that one. It's pr pretty hard to keep casting Rally over and over. On your burn exclusive? This adds a lot of damage to the Team Shark Bait? I agree. I think this this 10% for any of your ranged unit. Anybody can wear it. It doesn't have to be a ranged unit wearing this, but I think 10% of their attack to your whole entire team would be pretty sweet on somebody. But I don't even have the essence to love, level it up right now, so I'll hold out. I'll save my two for now. Okay, so now what? Let me go around and, and take these guys out. You use which one on unkillable? The organ? What do you say about unkillable? Let me start this run up. Let me start this run and I can catch up on chat.
Okay, what did I miss? Yeah, Boogie, the staff one. I bet the staff one would do good damage on my guys, but I don't know how much I use Rally. Like, I don't use Rally for everything. I probably could use Rally for everything. They're, they're that strong, the legendaries. Which one? Ultimate does Which one? Squizzly, who? He is absolutely chilling on my bench. His ultimate doesn't do anything. Oh, my camera just... My camera's overheating or something, it's saying. All right, who's going to get me a new uh, camera here? Let me try something. Hold on one second for me. SOS Stu, save Stu. Yeah, Squizzly, are you talking about uh, Linkas? Is that the one you're talking about benching? That he's on the bench the whole entire time? Yeah, I'll be right back. Let me, uh, let me clean this camera. Let's get the back of it's got dust or something. I need a heat heat sink for this bad boy. Pull yourself together. You guys can't see me yet. What's going on? Oh. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, we'll just see if it stays on. I don't know. It said that it said that it had a heat issue, so it was shutting down. But it said it in Japanese. It's wild the variance of how good bad new characters can be. Yeah, and I think it's pretty upsetting too because if you're rolling on the new season banner and you get a new legendary and you assume that new legendary will be decent, right? You're not you're not asking for a miracle. You're not like, okay, this is a rook. You get Linkos or somebody like that and you're like, oh, a new or legendary hero. I'm sure this guy's got to be decent. And then you play them and then functionally they just don't work at all. It's pretty uh, depressing. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Now this guy in the beginning of the season was completely nuking any tank I had. He would do this move where he brings all those shards in. Did they lower his damage? I feel like they lowered his damage or we just all got stronger somehow. But I feel like I have the same kind of gear on. Like that move would just obliterate any tank. I'm back. I'm back. 15 summons. You got Mithrasy. Congrats. She, she will change your whole entire account. Mithrasy. Slow playing through every floor of Fey. Mithrasy at the beginning of the season to make it so easy for you to be something like Grave of Venom 9 or all the nines. Yeah, man. And an arena? Just like, I don't know what arena tier you're in. I'm not trying to be like top 100 or top 200, but if you have her in your arena team and she's tanky, maybe high resistance, you've got her kind of in the back, 
that you can always bring your people back to, to life, you're going to win way more matches. Not against those awesome arena play, play teams, right? Right. Not against like the awesome teams, but you're still going to win a lot of matches that you would have otherwise lost. You know, depending on what else you got. So congrats. That's pretty wild. If you rolled a 20 and you got Linkos. Oh, and the lightning tank. Oh, the lightning tank. The one that does no damage, no damage that um, kind of does like an AOE basic attack. That new one. Yeah, I'd be disappointed if I got her. What would I use her for? How come her ultimate? How come every legendary this season is awesome and does big AOE damage? And then you have this lightning tank that does no damage on the ultimate, no damage on the battle skill, and then has this basic ability that can like bounce around and hit people. What's that about? Like who thought that this was a, a legendary healer or hero, you know? Yeah, what kind of mitigation does she have? Does she do Does she do decrease damage to your team? I mean, I'd rather have Felosia up there being a tank than her. At least Felosia is going to protect your whole entire team and mitigate so much damage that it's way better than what she would do. Invincibility on her battle skill. So she's basically just a little... And she's lightning. So she's a little bit of the same version of Lydia, which will give us control immunity on her ultimate as well. And Lydia will give us shields. All right, so we got control immunity for 10 seconds every 20 seconds, and that's it. But here, she gets immortality and attack speed up, and when she does attacks, every fifth basic attack, she gets a fat HP shield, and then gives an HP shield to the lowest current HP person. So survivability for her and others. And this goes down to 12. Okay, this goes to 12 seconds for immortality. So five seconds every 12 seconds here. So then we get this brand new legendary, which looks really cool. She does. Like, look at that. It looks like she'd go in and slap with those little um, skull maces. Look at them. I'd rather her be some kind of like backline attacker. She looks awesome. So now she's going to give control immunity plus increased defense for the team board wide. Invincibility for three seconds and an HP shield for five seconds. Oh, invincibility for three seconds. And then once she exits that, gains HP shield for five seconds when exiting that's this state. So really five, six, seven, eight. So she's got a little coverage for eight seconds. Three seconds, she's taking no damage. And then five seconds, she's got this HP shield on every 10 seconds. I guess that's okay for survivability. When in possession of a buff, the lightning chain attack bounces four times with a 25% chance to dispel one buff from them. If this just did damage, right? If this just did damage though, like everybody else we have for this season, doing board-wide damage, she would be pretty cool. Instead of like this, this bounce attack's fine, but honestly, why doesn't this do damage based off of defense with everything she's doing? It doesn't have to be high damage, but something, right? I mean, we just had so many this season that come in. How much damage does this guy mitigate? Now, he's not mitigating damage for the team like she is. He's doing it for himself. Damage reduction, defense up for himself. AoE taunt, but AoE massive damage based off of defense. Here, attacking three times. Attack penalty two. And then he gets his wedding vows, and if he's with her, he'll stay alive and do his ultimate. But then if you pick any of the other ones, board-wide AoE damage. Uh, board-wide AoE damage. Like, so many of them are just board-wide AoE damage with all the cool stuff they do. Yeah, I don't know why they couldn't give her a damage ability on that ultimate. Kind of sad.
the defense up and the immunity. I mean, it's it's nice to kind of keep your team alive, I guess. But taking up that slot to like main tank and then keep your team alive could be useful somewhere, but not a lot, right? Not for what we do. Could be useful on some chief challenge if everybody was taking a lot of damage and we need to bring somebody in. But we have we have a radiant epic that does that shared damage to everyone. We have legendaries that do like the massive shared damage. We have other epics that do increased defense for the whole team. Not control immunity, but increased defense for everybody like uh, Cypherus. I mean, this girl's naked. Oh, nice. Come on. Crit rate. Not bad. One hit. I'll take it. Like Gillian, that gives you increased defense, removes debuff and healing. Yeah, when it's complemented with healing, yeah, increased defense up is very good, right? Then you don't have to worry about it on a, a tank. And you can use, a lot of times, you can use those kind of support people as tanks. Her, though, we need enlightenment, so we'd use a lot of enlightenment on her. I mean, I'm with you. There's not a lot of cases where we would use that. There was, like, maybe the in-game boss on Season 1, when the dragon was doing a lot of damage to your whole entire team. I brought in the epic that did ally protection. On the Radiant. Radiant side. I needed somebody that could keep my Radiant team alive longer. So I brought in that Dwarf. And he did ally protection to the whole entire team. And I don't think he did increase defense. But it was enough to keep the whole entire team alive long enough that I could do a lot of damage. So, you know, it's like Thunderbolt or any of those other things. If you're only going to use them for like one small instance. One few days throughout the season. What's, what's the point? You know, why am I going to use that hero? And there are other heroes that can do what they're going to do for me. That might even do it better, right? And that's where balancing comes in though, right? Yeah, yeah, Dwarf is good. But that's where balancing comes in. If something, you know, if something isn't functional for the game, you can always do a little balancing. But a lot of times, if you have enough heroes inside a game, eventually some content, some new content will come out where they'll be viable to use. Now, I would say that normally in a game like Raid Shadow Legends. That even though the hero is not viable for something right now, normally they'd bring out some new permanent content that the hero could be viable in. But since we already know this game plays game loop, I don't know what new content they can introduce. Because it's all about the vortex, it's all about chief challenges, and that's... I mean, what... What, what kind of new content could they bring in? I think that's I think that's another issue with this game, and they've kind of like shoehorned themselves into okay, we've got three months. This is the game loop. What could they? What else could they bring into this game loop that won't take a crazy amount of time? That also lets us use a lot of different heroes. What else? Because they want us to compete with each other, right? That's the whole. That's the whole scheme. The whole scam. Okay, it's not a scam, but like that's their whole idea. Compete against other players. And even that, I feel like they need a lot of improvement. Like if you're going to compete against somebody in Fade Meander, we need to really improve the leaderboards. We need to really improve the leaderboards that they have. Like we were, I was talking about it with Van Horn Gaming, actually. Uh, Van Horn had a lot of good ideas for this. The competition that they have going on that most people don't even know about every couple weeks. And it's not a monthly thing. It's not a competition the leaderboard like for the first month, second month, third month like it should be. And it's not something that's even visible to the public. You have to go in there and know that you're going to get the low rarity challenge, that you're going to do the high rarity challenge. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Like not even a lot of people know about this, but this is something that should be brought front and center to where everybody sees these leaderboards and they expand the rewards for it. So people want to do it because I was complaining about not having anything to do for the first month. 
but you could compete in these for the first month and you get a lot of solvent which helps you do your elemental affinity to get stronger faster and I don't even like I know they're there but I don't ever pay attention to it James does it a lot if James is still in here he goes and fights for these but you have to come all the way here go to world challenge nope go to glory ranking and then down here at the bottom you see dungeon racing chess collection you know that doesn't matter right and it's thrown in here with all this garbage like who cares about this, this is nothing hero ranking this is nothing fame meander means nothing because they only open up three floors a day so this is garbage if fame meander was open for everybody and just the strongest person could go to your account let you go then fame meander would be awesome to have a ranking reward and it would be awesome to have these ranks but since Faye only opens up three floors a day and people just rush it, it's first. It's, it's the first one they can log in in that day and be strong enough to do it. It's kind of dumb. So here is what should be front and center. For every season, this should be in people's face to let them know the rankings. This should be expanded so that we have more ranks to give people more rewards. And what happens is this just ended at reset today when I logged in this just ended so last night I had 15 hours if I wanted to to compete and I could have come in here and tried to get you know something like this if you're in top 10 for a low rarity like Van Horn is here when he logged in for the day he would have gotten a lot of rewards look at this you get essence which is pretty sweet solvent sorry I'm always getting them mixed up you get solvent you get gems and there's a lot. It's not just like, you, that's Flame Domain. But for Flame Domain, there's a lot of different ones to get top 10. Get top 10 here for this uh, trigger. Trigger affinity, trigger affinity, top 10 for those, top 10 for these. And then if you did this like he did, when he logs in, he's going to, like, let me see a picture of one of these things where he told me. And James did this a lot in season one, and he got some really good rewards. Yeah, here's a picture from one of his videos. 550 worm arrow and 5,600 solvent. That's pretty good. Because he did so many of them. And it gave him something to like focus on. It gave him something to kind of work with for that first month. But they don't go for a month. They kind of go like for a couple weeks. And then they end a couple weeks. And they end. And now they've all ended. So now there's no more of these, I believe, to do. You won 3,305 worm arrow? Nice. Congrats. So most people don't even know about it, first off. And then it's never like brought front and center. And it's weird timing. Like we had this for stage four, I think, or stage three. And then it went up to stage four for like a couple weeks, stage five for a couple weeks. So you could have done this the whole season. And then these, I think, started at maybe stage seven for a couple weeks and then they went to stage eight for a couple weeks and now they just ended stage nine but now we have no more competition like there's no more competition anymore for any of these stages it's weird i feel like this should go on for the first month and then the second month it should go on for the second month and then the third month there should be something for this too to give you something else to do and to compete and try to get some nice rewards But I can guarantee that most players don't even know that's there. Did I do all of these? All right. Anybody got any of this to do right here? I'm going to load it up in the global. Let me run this global and see if we can get some more solvent. You win all top one for the low rarity? Hey, congrats. Hey, shark bait. What's up, buddy? Appreciate it. Yeah, that's it's good. It's good to do that. Extremely helpful to do that. I hope my guys are geared. Yeah, they should be geared. How interesting. How interesting. For the yeah, they're only up for the first month. And then each of them are only going for like a couple of weeks or maybe like one week. And I guess next season, next season, I should pay attention to that and try to participate. Because then I can have my elemental affinity out further, faster, for sure. And it would help me do more damage. 
not even just more damage for Vortex. Yeah, there too, but it would help me do more damage for something, you know, all the dungeons that I'm running. You're rank 57? On which one? I hate when they show different timings on three places. Oh, you went you went to season. Oh, okay. So you ended up rank 57 as free to play. Wait, wait. Were you free to play though? For your season 2. You and you're able to play season 3 right now. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait like a week you thought you had to wait this morning. And now it's like 4 5 a.m., right? You stayed up you stayed up all night so you could do your season 3 summons. Hey, good luck if you're going to do that. I hope you get Rook. Please get Rook. You'll do so much better. You'll, you'll knock it out, man. I'm telling you. You'll, you'll do so much damage. It'd be fun. We could get 800 here. Come on, 40,000? Yeah, 40,000. Let's go. Okay, that's all I wanted. I guess that's it, fellas. Let's go look at one of these and see how well we do. Cold damage. I got to do some auto runs. We got to do some videos tonight. I, what are we going to do videos on? You spent 20 to $100 a month. Something less than, than more. Okay, nice. You want to wait till you have a couple hundred? <laughs> I feel you, man. But you know you want to summon. You're like, you're, you're looking at it going, oh, it'd be so much fun to summon. Okay, do we have an ice? We do have this team. We're just going to bring this in and see what we could do really quick. Fur bath with a tank set on. Let's give him the crown, I guess. That's all I've got for poison? No legendary, huh? Okay. Accuracy, accuracy. We'll give her a Mons gear set. What's her crit rate? Whoa, her crit rate's so low because Amon doesn't need crit. I think we got a couple attack with crit rate here. Whoa, three hits in the crit rate. I'll take it. Come on. All my guys, three hits in the crit rate. One hit there. All she needs is 80. Wait, what? what? Crit rate of 15. No, I want the crit rate of 10. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to run out of gold. <laughs> like anytime I level up anything, I feel like the next thing I'm just going to have no gold. That's a lot of HP. Okay. Now none of this gear is great, right? We're not using the crazy gear that we had on the test server. So I don't expect us to do insane damage we still should i mean we made 60 million on this boss with insane gear so we should get 22 million easily with anything we put on him Sixty-six. Let's do Witch's Remains on her.
Let's see if we can get an attack instead of critical damage. Yeah, there we go. She doesn't have a really high crit rate. Think she has enough accuracy at two? Yeah, she should have 270. I'm not good at exactly 270. All right, so the last one we need to do is Drist. Come to me, My loyal friend shall... He's a legendary, so... What do I got? Support DPS? Sure, why not? What do we got? Attack, attack, attack. Okay. Good enough. Let's go. Let's go with critical damage. On this boss, what do we need to do? We're, we can't remove anything. On this boss, we can't remove its uh, ice crystals. It's honestly it's just that we're facing off against Shinna with the uh, radiant radiant crystals this one gets. We can't remove it. We can't stop it. We can decrease attack, which we'll do with Fur Bath. So we need a Fur Bath, actually, to be on an 18-second cooldown. We need a Fur Bath to go off at 12 seconds. I think there's a little lag time on this. I think we can do 12 and 18. And then Witch's Remains, 12. Uh, we'll actually let her go whenever she wants to. 12.5. That'll give her increased attack if she has the highest attack. Whatever. But that means I need like instant burner or I need skill haste on for a bath to get him down to 18 seconds. Did I even, I never even leveled this up. I feel like we don't get a lot of essence this season. Now, any of you guys that are free to play or a low spender, I'm sure you feel like you don't get any kind of way to level up your artifacts right now i do have a lot of a lot of legendaries leveled up already that's all because i did a lot of summons at the beginning of the season and i had a lot carry over from last season but still i feel like i don't have a lot right let's go with some skill haste gear what do i actually have for skill haste Which one of these are skill haste? There we go. Defense? Nope. What about defense here? Man. No, I need defense. Accuracy, <laughs> no crit there. All right, all right. What do I got for defense? Get out of here. Defense percentage on Ardrith. Crit rate. Enlightenment. I don't think I can do enough skill haste. Even right now, I'm at thirty-three, and that takes us down to. 18.9. Oh, she does channel it, but still. What does instant burner lower it down if I don't really level this up? By 5%? Equip. 5% from 20? So what's that take us to? 19 seconds? 19 seconds plus whatever we're reducing it right now might work. But he doesn't have enough accuracy. Hmm. 
182. Let's go to 12. I'm just trying to get a little more accuracy, but I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste any more of our essence of creation. Okay. He's at 210 now. That should be fine. Okay. He's going to be, he's going to be at the right interval that we need. He's going to do it every, every, every 18 seconds now. No problem. Let's see. Let's see if we can start off initially though. Decrease attack. Ah, oh, we need him to do it later, actually, because she channels. So, I don't know. It's still up. It's still up. It's still up. Nah, we're fine. I don't even think she hits with this move. It just generates an orb. We could have it last like one more second. I see a couple more shards coming down. It's crazy good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Dog, big dog. What's up, my man? Rex, good to see you, my man. Yeah, we've been on for two hours and 51 minutes. We did a whole bunch of gear farming and we went around and got as much uh, solvent as we can doing all of our weeklies. I've taken out my Psyche Core pretty far now for Radiant and Fire to give them a whole bunch of additional attack, which is going to help my attack on Sonaro for his healing and shielding and his damage and then all my damage that I'm using right now on my aura heroes just because I've been stuck with them it'll help out my radiant heroes so I can play all my radiant heroes now too um, it's pretty good the additional attacks pretty nice especially for Sonaro oh I missed it yeah yeah I probably missed it sorry I haven't done the blue, James, I haven't done the blue versus red video. We did have uh, Meteor Storm set up his defense with one team. I just need to go make my offense and I need to start attacking it. And we're trying to make it really, really close to the stats. As close as we can. We're trying to really look at the stats and make it the same stats. And I need to do that today. I need to make that team and play it out and do a video. That's what I need to do tonight for a video. I lost some skill haste. Well, I think we're still good though, Meteor. Yeah, yeah, we've been hitting... Uh... Even if it's a little short, it looks like we're... Yeah, it looks like we're okay. The boss is at seven stacks. Now, last season in season one, when the boss was at nine stacks, most of my teams fell apart. But I feel like these bosses, like the easier version of these bosses, aren't that strong. At least the four. Four out of six of these bosses I feel like are not very strong. I don't know why, but I just feel like their damage is just kind of not crazy. It's not like we're having to... Okay, we missed decreased attack, so we're taking a lot more damage now. She is at nine stacks. But even this, like right now, we missed... Okay, we had one person die. That's nine stacks. Like I said, nine stacks with the gear I have on right now because we didn't put on like crazy gear. Not bad. But I mean, all we needed was 22 million. We're already at 30. So. I'm not going to save this. I'll wait till the, till the end of the week, right? We'll, we'll wait till the day of, one day before we have to do this. We've got time to get more gear and I've got a lot of bread to farm. Still, 30, right? We go over here to redeploy. We look at our guys. We've got, you know, whatever gear on him. Definitely not crazy gear, on, although he's four ascended. But we could take him out of the equation. He only he did as much damage as Bledin. Bledin did just as much damage as Driss did there with the gear he had on. This we could obviously replace for legendary gear even right now. We just have to go through it. Same. She's the only one that's actually got the newer gear on crit rate critical damage along with whenever there's decreased defense up we do 35 percent additional damage we could get rid of this and get some maybe different gear because this gear is for amon where she auto crits no matter what so we're not looking for crit rate we're looking for critical damage or attack 
but it's girth right girth's gonna kill it always and that's this is the easiest boss there is to fight million gold on gear for the team oh you did you spent that much gold meteor storm you spent that much gold leveling up a whole lot of different gears so you could try to match the current team they have is what you said yeah so i need to i need to do the same and try to match it up since you did all that work yeah yeah okay i will i will i definitely will all right guys i'm gonna head out thank you so much for hanging out with me today i appreciate the love and support thank you everybody boogeyman appreciate it for all the all the gifted subs you gave us today i'll be back tomorrow we'll just go and make some more teams tomorrow like i'll actually have gear so today i'm just gonna do auto farm gear and then We'll look through all that gear. We'll do some save teams so we can switch that gear over easy. And then we'll start saving teams for all the different bosses with the new gear I have. And I guess that's it, right? I mean, that's all we have to do. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's it. Let's see if anybody else is streaming right now. And we're going to get our legendary. That's for sure. We're definitely getting our legendary. We're definitely getting our legendary. Oh, I hear myself. There's an echo. Okay, not English. This guy is... Oh, we did Iron Josh before. You guys remember we know we went over and checked him out. We got Rick over here, Rick Gaming. Yeah, this guy was pretty cool though, right? You had a good time over there with uh, Iron Josh. Anybody? You remember? And I think he's on season one. So you guys could help him out. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good luck with all your summons. Good luck with your runs. I hope you get a whole bunch of mythical gear. And if you're not playing Dragonair, come join us. It's on Steam. It's on your mobile device. You can download it from the link down below if you want to. We uh, we are here. And join my Discord. Always join my Discord, which that's the number one thing I got to work on right now when we get off stream. I got to figure out how to make sure that we don't have spam in my Discord. That's what I'm going to do right now. Cause it's a it's a it's a lot of BS, man. We're we're getting this whole week. I've been getting nothing but spam bots in my Discord for some stupid porn stuff. It's getting really ir irritating, big time. All right, how to stop spam Discord? <laughs> Let's see what we get. 